Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new stream. And yes, I am streaming again. I know it's been like a week. Um I just it's summer. I haven't really been having the best time to stream. Um but anyways, I thought I would this would be a good day to stream. Not only am I home alone for a bit, um, but also a lot of stuff is going on in Pokemon right now. Yo, we got a new versus ladder, meaning we're gonna get a lot more coins now. But also, they're doing this, this like multiplier thing on the ladder right now. Where, like, you get the prize boxes, you can get up to 444 coins. It's, like, the best time in the world to grind it. So, it's, like, lines up perfectly. Let's try this out. So, there's a lot we can do here. Um, I don't know what decks really to test. I think we'll go to challenges and check it out. Um, we'll see what decks are in uh, challenges here. But it's pretty awesome. Okay. So, we gotta get a fighting and dark evolution. We can definitely play Zoark for that. And I guess for fighting, I'll just use Zygarde. Zygarde seems fine. Fighting's really good right now because of how popular Drampa and Zoark are. Um, so we'll just find one of our fighting decks. Probably just gotta play Lycanroc, to be honest with you. Don't know what I mean. We, yeah, I guess Lycanroc we can play. I mean, we also play Gallade Octillery. That's something that I've always wanted to try out here. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's fun, though. It's gonna be lit. I'm just glad that we got a new ladder, because that Steven ladder was like, really, like, Steven? My boy Steven? I mean, I actually got it done. That was probably the first ladder I've ever done in a long time. I mean, it's summer, so I have a lot more time to grind the ladder, but it's like, it's crazy. So I got a Lycan Rock. Let's check this out. Mm hmm. Four. Okay, four Zygards. Eh, I guess we can play this. I don't know. I'm trying to find a deck to play that can be fighting. Zygarde seems fine, though, because Zygarde is a fighting type and he can do work. Uh, looks like we're going to be playing against a Decidueye Plume deck from the looks of it. Guess we'll see. I have like a million mosquito bites on my arm right now, though, and it's so hard not to hit him. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. Going in. Oh, Toad Dow, why you do this to us? I don't know. If my opponent does play Drampa and he starts with. I will gladly take it. I think it's going to be... I mean, does, does Sidgewai play metal in the deck? I, I don't think they do. I don't know what metal they could play. I guess we'll find out. Ugh, bad hand. Ooh, it's Metagross. Never mind, it's Metagross. I knew I knew that all along. Now, this is fine because we can get a Zygarde star. We can do a lot of damage to them early on with Zygarde. Maybe take out their baby Beldums. Um, never mind. <laughs> We're just going to get a completely useless hand. Awesome. Great. Great. I think if I don't top deck something, I might just concede. I don't want to play this game out. Ah. Rip. Rip, rip, rip the hand. I have four Zygars, you know, I'll start with one. Yo, Benji, welcome to the stream, dude. How you doing, bro? And, uh, yeah, you are first, Benji. Uh, thanks for stopping by today. I'm just streaming this new ladder, just trying it out. Um, cause, like, I finally got some time to stream. So I was like, eh, why not just live stream and, uh, you know, try the new ladder... I mean, Alakazam's not bad. Mega Alakazam isn't really that good. But, I mean, it's not a bad ladder, to be honest with you. Hopefully my opponent ends me, though, because our hand is dead. And I don't like it at all. Yes, okay. There's hope. Now I don't have to concede, Kappa. Um, but we gotta, like, try and not gonna build them. That's kind of the plan here. But if you're just on by the stream, basically, as the title says, I'm just grinding the ladder. Um, okay, we got a fan club, which I guess works, too. That's fine. We can grab a Rockruff and something else. We can put a DCE on it. Yeah, it seems fine. Sands okay. See, can my opponent get a Beldum down? Foam oh, wait. Is this... Oh, it's Lorantis Sogaleo. Okay. I thought it was gonna be... I thought it was gonna be, uh, Metagross. I guess it's not. Alright, that's fine. We'll grab... Yeah, I guess we grab Soto Widow, I guess, too, but it doesn't matter. Brick Hand, yeah. But it's all good, Benji. My opponent was nice enough to end me, so now our hand is actually pretty good. Uh, we'll put down Rockruff. Zygarde will DC this, and I guess we'll pass. Um, I guess the goal next turn is try and retreat Carbink and Bloodthirsty Eyes of Fomantis or Cosmog. Cosmog's more scarier because once he soul bursts me, I mean, that's when the party starts. It's a tough matchup though. The only thing we have going for us is a dangerous rogue. See, Ultra Ball getting rid of Metal and Sika. The energy getting rid of is not very good because that's going to help him out a little bit. Just kind of rip. Grabs another Lele. Alright, we'll see if he ends me or not. I mean, he probably will, because he probably thinks I have enough supporter, because he's probably like, well, why wouldn't you have fan clubbed for Tapu Lele? So I'm expecting him to end me here. Let's see. No, Bridget. All right, never mind. Fill up your bench for Dangerous Rogue, because Dangerous Rogue is the only way we're going to one-shot Sokaleo, so I'm fine with that. I am okay with that. Yeah, PVC Joe's really good right now because of the the extended um, coins you can get. You can get, like, I think, you get, like, not double the amount of coins. Actually, no, I think it is double, right? I, I can't remember. I think it's... It might be double. I don't know. Um, ooh, strong energy. Yeah, we'll do this, actually. I don't think I can knock him out here, but uh, it's fine. 
We can go Sycamore. Hope to hit a uh, good hand. Oh, we even have the retreat. Dang it. I mean, he has two Cosmogs down, so it's not a big deal. Uh, dang, I, I didn't even hit Carbon Break either. Where, oh, how did I not know? Can't wait for those Pokemon which can't be touched by EX and GX. Yeah, that's going to be awesome, Benji. I know the new Hoopa does that, and the new Hoopa is pretty cool. I think I'm just going to pass. Yeah, we, we bricked pretty hard there. Next turn, we will Floatstone, and then I guess Dangerous Rogue is Sobaleo that he tries to bring out. That seems fine. Lorant is coming down. Okay, we'll see if he gets the Sobaleo or not. He is going to end me. I know he's going to go Sigmar, never mind. Didn't even see how to sick more in the discard. But yeah, next turn we'll probably knock out his Sogaleo. I mean, the best thing we have going for us is Hex Maniac. We can shut down Burning Road. I guess that's that's, that's kind of our plan of action here. <laughs> okay, got another Lorantis. Does he get the rare candy soul though? If he does, I will gladly I will gladly knock it out. But it looks like he doesn't. It looks like he will retreat. Oh, Lorantis is kind of annoying though, because it hits me for weakness. This is such a bad matchup. This matchup sucks. Alright, thankfully Carbink has a lot of HP and it actually takes a hit from Flower Supply. That's pretty, pretty good. He's building up that Cosmion. I think I'm just going to knock it out. Because he's not going to be able to knock me out. I mean, yeah, he could Chlorocythe me, but uh, then he can't use Soul Burst, which I'm fine with. We do actually get a good top deck here. Uh, we get our Carbink Break top deck, which I will take. I will take any day of the week and uh, we'll retreat. And I think I'm going to go for... I might as well just Hex Maniac him here. I don't really see any harm in not doing that. Sure. I need to set up another Lycan Rock though, because we do need Dangerous Rogue to take out his Solgaleos in one hit. I might have to just use it on this Lorantis if it comes down to that. We'll see. We will see. But we took out his Cosmion, so now we probably can't get a Solgaleo and play as easy. He probably can still get Rare Candy, but we'll see if he can. Lorantis ain't threatening right now. He'd have to get another Grass Energy. He'd have to use his only Jex Attack to take me out, which I am perfectly fine with him doing that if he has to do it. So hopefully he does. And he Ultra Balls. Does he have the Candy Sogaleo in his hand? Unless he just grabs another Cosmion. Oh, he had it. Alright, luckily we shut down Burning Road though, so that's a good sign. He had it? Oh no. If this last card in his hand is a Sycamore, I'm going to be so mad. Because that is just a broken hand. Please don't be a Sycamore. Yes, thank you. And we just see a Flower Supply for 80. Okay. He's just going to build that Sogaleo up. I need to get my Lysander here. Have we played one? We have. Okay. Can I get a Lele or a Via Seeker top deck? No. Dang it, dude. Alright, it looks like we can't take him out this turn, which kind of sucks. Yeah, we still have to get another Rock Rock down. I mean, we can always build up another Lycan Rock, too. That works fine. Dang it, though. I'm going to... I think I'm just going to have to Claw Slash him here. I... Don't know if I can afford to... He's going to knock me out with Solar Blade next turn, I think. That's the only card in it. This is kind of a tough spot. Go like Rock, yeah. Hello, yo, Robert, welcome to the stream, dude. How you doing, bro? How you doing, dude? Thanks for stopping by today. Um, Super Rob, we don't need to do it. Ah, uh, it's kind of tricky. I think I just got to go for... I can Dangerous Rogue him now. I mean... I guess we go for it. If his hand's dead, I can take him out here. I guess we'll risk it, sure. Might have... Oh, okay, good. I thought we were knocking him out. I forgot we had a strong energy on those. Like, oh no, we're 10 short. I guess we'll just use the GX tack. That's fine. I'll do it. At least this way we can clear that Lorantis out of the way. I'll just force him to have to find another energy to take me out here. And I'm fine with that. We'll see if he gets it, though. He is probably in a dead hand, which is good. Alright, we can Hex Maniac stall him. Level Ball, okay. As long as he doesn't have a supporter in his hand, we should be okay here. Level Ball is probably going to grab another Cosmog. Or Full Mantis. Grabs nothing, okay. Oh no, it grabs something. Alright, you grabbed Cosmog. And before he plays Sycamore, he strolled me. Okay, good. Alright, this is a really good spot. Probably the best thing we could have asked for, to be honest with you. Uh, I think I'll just get... I'm going to get uh, Soda Widow down. Now we can't put any Tapu Leles or Shamans down. This puts even more pressure on him. I think I'm just going to build up Zygarde here. And, um, I think I'll just hex him. I'm honestly more scared of the Lorantis than the Sogaleo, but, I mean, I guess we could just, hmm, I don't know. I guess we'll hex him and just slow him down even more, and then I guess we'll just Claw Slash him. And then we'll just Lysander his, uh, thing up if he tries to bring it up, I guess, sure. That seems like a decent plan. Um, but yo, welcome to everyone in the stream. Good for Carlos matchup. Um, okay, hold on. I gotta 
Oh, I missed a lot of things here. Sorry, guys. Hi, yo, Seasick Turnip. Welcome to stream, dude. How you doing? Um, just saw some of the new GX for Burning Shadows. What do you guys think about Necrozama? I think Necrozama is pretty good. It's obviously going to be good with Metagross. Um, and it does have a good effect. I mean, it can block Colorless Pokemon. It can block Tauros, Drampa, which is pretty good. What deck do you guys recommend for beginner? Already have Drampa Garden Bulk. Probably Greninja, since it's budget-friendly. Um, Umbreon, eh. Tapu Bulu. I mean, Tapu Bulu has, I think, dropped a few prices a little bit. I um, Galissapod Lorantis isn't bad, but I think Vikavol Bulu is the best way to go. Vikavolts aren't that expensive. Um, the only thing you really have to pay for is the Tapu Lele's, I think, but other than that, it's a pretty, uh, cheap deck, I think. No! Oh my god! Oh my god, guys, I'm sorry. The internet on my laptop pooped out. It probably dropped one bar and just disconnected me. <sighs> oh my god, that's so annoying. We were winning too. That's so dumb. Yo, but Emily, welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. I'm so hyped on making a Glissopod GX deck with your boy Guzma. I don't know about Guzma and Glissopod, but Glissopod GX is going to be really good. Um, especially with Forest Giant Plants. You can basically just turn one donk them. If, like, you can hit, like, you could probably use, like, Baby Coco, just something for your treat, and then just, like, drop Glisspot on turn one, and then just dock them. Or at least put, like, a ton of damage on them, which is, like, probably really good. So that's gonna be pretty awesome. Hey, when Connection does that, yeah, I don't know, like, my internet dropped, like, one bar or something on my laptop. It's not even my internet itself, like, the internet in my house is fine right now, it's just my laptop. It's, like, really weird. That's so dumb, though, dude. I was, like, so close to winning that game, too. We basically had the game there, personally, but this game just doesn't like me today. And just... That's so annoying. <laughs> Dang it! Rip the win! Ugh. It's taking a long time for us to connect to Pokemon, too. Hopefully this hurries up. Yo, yo, Sans, welcome to the stream, dude. How you doing? Thanks for stopping by, bro. Yeah. Alright, there we go. Ah, oh, dang it, though. That free win... Oh, not free win, but that win... Is now gone because my game does not like me. Wait, did we win it? No, okay, we didn't, right? I forgot they like you get a free versus points for taking prizes. That is so annoying though, dude. Screw my internet. And it looks like we're gonna be up against a guard drampa deck, which is probably one of your best matchups because we can hit drampa for weakness. The first impression attack and in general a good supporter. Yeah, I guess. It always happens when you're winning two, it's the worst. I know Emily, dude, like why? <laughs> Come on. That was a good match. Oh, not a good matchup. That was a bad matchup, too. And the fact we got an advantage like that was so huge. That sucks, though. All right, we got a Zygarde start, which is good. Like, this is a good matchup because we play a lot more supporters than we do items. Like, we don't really play that many items. Uh, can we um, can we CF viewers, bro? What does that mean, Sans? Uh, are you talking about viewer battles? Play Vika Bulu? Yeah, I can, Roman. I can definitely do that after I get this fighting daily challenge. 24 ticket turn. Nah, Benji, I'm not doing any 24 ticket turnies, dude. I uh, will wait to drop Siddle Widow. I'm just not going to do any 24 ticket turnies until they add Plasma Freeze to Expanded. So, yeah. Plus, I need to resave up my coins. Oh, no, it's, it's Toxapex. All right. I need to resave up my coins because... Or my tickets, sorry. Not my coins, my tickets. Because I did spend quite a bit of tickets over, like, the month of June and a bit of May. So, like, I had, like, I think over, like, 750. And now I'm down to, like, my last, like... 100 or 200 or so, so I need to resave up tickets, because I want to do Plasma Freeze tourneys when they come. I feel the coin flips is rigged online. Nah, it's just really, it's just R down to the RNG, my boy. But yeah, the uh, the RNG can be pretty bad sometimes, especially with going for the coin flip when you want to go first or second, when you're playing a stage 2 deck. Alright, this handing bad. Hopefully we can knock him out next turn. We need to get a strong energy, or just an energy in general. He does play Garb though, but that's fine. We don't really play that many um, items. No, he plays hammers? What? No, and it hits heads? What? Oh my god, I hate hammers so much. Thank god for carving. Did I miss the Alakazam games? No, you didn't, Jack. I'm not actually testing Alakazam. I'm playing the new Alakazam versus ladder, because they added Alakazam to the new ladder. Um, okay, so we got a carving break. I definitely need to... Uh, if only I got this a turn before, but I didn't know he was going to be playing the thing. Uh, we'll do Shaman. We can always bump that Parallel City if worse comes to worse. All right, come on, give me a strong energy to take him out. Nope. Hmm. I guess we'll end him. I guess. All right, come on, give me strong energy so I can knock him out here. Yes, okay, good. We got him. 
No, we can keep the baby carbon complete too. Plus, if we play Silent Lab, we can drop Carbon Break. And uh, we'll knock him out Lance Pulse here, putting some early pressure on him. I'm not really too scared of Toxapex. Like, I guess this is Quad Toxapex, which is a video I kind of want to do. Uh, yeah, the, yeah, Alex Anthony Ladder Pokemon. Oops, did I, uh, I did a Vanguard fight saying yes, and I mean Veer Battles. Uh, I don't know about that, Sans. I don't, like, I'm not saying I don't like doing Veer Battles. It's just, like, when I'm, like, when I'm streaming, I kind of just want to play the game and just grind the ladder and stuff like that. But I do need to do another Veer Battle stream sometime soon. Don't know when, though. I've been winning a lot with the given Tapu Bulu deck from the tin. Yeah, Tapu Bulu is really, really good. Um, Vikable Bulu is probably the best way to run it right now. It's the most successful. Even though it didn't make top 8 at any of the divisions at Nats, it's still pretty good, though. I like the I like the tin decks if you adjust it. Yeah, they're I mean they're not bad. Ooh, he whiffed with crushing hammer. That could have been big because he could have gotten my strong energy. Alright, you got the Toxapex. Hopefully we can knock this thing out before it builds up that big attack. A super intense poison. But we don't really have to worry about Garb because we haven't played a single item yet, so we're good. Probably just gonna go for might even hex him here. Try to shut down Victini, force him to get really unlucky, or he'll end me, never mind. Never mind then, he was going to hit me with an end. He probably plays more hammers. If we lose this strong energy, that could be bad. Because we kind of need to do it for damage. Okay, choice ban, that's fine. No crushing hammer, get tails. Yes, thank you, get out of here with that garbage. Get that garbage out of here. Why do they keep reprinting crushing hammer, by the way? <laughs> I recommend the Tapu Bulu tin for people that are starting on TCG. Yeah, there you go. Also, the Lunala theme deck is really good too. Yeah, I didn't know how long you've been streaming. Oh, no, Jack, I've been only been streaming for like 16 minutes right now. Just started a little bit ago. We actually got really lucky there, but we can sell storm. We can sell storm him here. I guess we got to end him. That's fine. Uh, yeah, sure. Kind of want to take out Garbodor, but it's not even that big of a threat. We've played one item so far. Okay, there we go. That's a pretty good hand. Um, and I think we'll just hit him with a sell storm here and heal up a bit. I would have liked to have hit like a Lycan Rock, cause we can knock out this Toxapex next turn with another sell storm. Which would be pretty nice. And before he gets all heads, if he gets all heads, my Zygarde is dead. And then we're going to be in some trouble. Oh, he could have Max Potion, too. Max Potion could be pretty scary. Um, Yeah, I didn't know how long he was streaming. Have you tried Lycroc Carbink with uh, Minyor? Works better than Zygarde, in my opinion. Eh, I like using Zygarde because it's a really good way to dunk a, tra a Drampa on turn one. Oh, he did Max Potion. All right, rip. That's fine, though. That's fine. As long as he gets unlucky with his, super his Spike Cannon flips, we should be okay. Um, I don't really like Minyor, though. I mean, it's not a bad card. I, I do kind of like it. I think it'd be better in Expanded, though, to be honest with you. But uh, I like I just like having Zygarde because Lance Pulse is really all you need to deal with a Drampa. Like, you put a Strong and a Choice Band in a Stadium in play, you can donk a, you can donk a Drampa on turn one, which is really, really good. Um, that's kind of why I like having Zygarde in this deck over, like, any other Fighting-type basic attacker. The only problem with this deck is it's all weak to grass, so, like, it's a little iffy. Um, I mean, you do have Machamp, which Machamp is pretty good, too, with Ninja Boy, but, uh, we don't, we don't talk about that today. It'd be great, actually, it wouldn't be fun, it'd be kind of fun just to Ninja Boy into Machamp here, and just hit him for a knockout. Just got a Max Potion, yeah, I mean, that's fine, though. As long as he gets unlucky with his coin flips, we should be okay, he's gonna do 90 damage to me. Oh, dang it, dude, I thought he got Quad Tails, come on. Okay... I think we're just going to have to go for Dangerous Road. Uh, yeah, sure. We have a Lysander. I can knock out... Uh, I can knock out Victini. Force him to... Uh, we, we'll have 70 HP left. He would need two heads to actually knock me out. Which, I'm fine with that. Because uh, if we can end him to... Yeah, that's fine. I guess, I don't know. Maybe it's not the best play, but we'll go for it. We'll go for it. Then we can just take him out Dangerous Rogue to take a big knockout on him. Plus, like, I don't want to play too many items here. I don't want to use that Versica. Hey, Lycan Rock. It was prize. All right, sweet. So, yeah, we can Lycan Rock hopefully next turn and take a big Dangerous Rogue knockout. That'd be great. Uh, when are they implementing GXs to ladder? I don't know, Juan. Um, I don't know, man. Maybe, I mean, I don't know. I thought before they were going, like, in order from, like, supporters from set to set. Oh, I grabbed 15 back. Dang it. Hopefully, if you get eight tails, I'm going to be very happy. Please get eight tails here. So how many items have we even played? Just one, right? So Garbodor is not doing that much damage. There's a Sycamore, okay. I mean, maybe we do get lucky here. I'm surprised he didn't delink with me, to be honest with you. Um, we need to get really lucky here. If he can never get two heads, we'll be good. Tails. Yes, okay. 
He's got to reflip. Yes, we live. Zygarde, you're a monster. All right, this is good. And then we can take him out with Danger Rogue, hopefully. We're going to have to end, though, so I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. I mean, I might as well just do Switch now. We're going to risk it. We're going to end ourselves to four. And we are going to hope to hit the Danger Rogue play. So we've played only two items, so... No, three, right? Okay, we're he's doing 90 damage to my guard, which is still a little ridiculous. <laughs> okay, good, we, we didn't whiff it. All right, nice. We got Carving too, so... I don't know if he plays Lab or not. Probably not, but we can still put Carving down. We do get a knockout here with Dangerous Rogue, which is really good. Yeah, that seems good. Alright, Dangerous Rogue for the KO. Bye-bye. Luckily, the Strong Energy is on us, so we can take him out. And uh, we'll take our two prizes. We're basically really close to winning. We got Olympia, and I can do that next turn. Um, I mean, we can always just Claw Slash Garb. I think we're in a really good spot. Uh, while they are bringing Fates Collide Pokemon to the ladder. Yeah, and then, I mean, Volcanion's probably going to come at some point, too. I don't really care if you cry. Yo, welcome to stream, Toxapex. I, funny, because I'm actually playing against Toxapex deck right now. Um, but yeah, welcome to stream. My boy Lil Uzi Vert. Another Toxapex. Okay, I'm fine with that. I mean, at this point, I can probably just win the game by using Lysander on Garbs. But I need to get lucky here and hit something. I would like to heal my Zygarde up a little bit more, to be honest with you. I think we're fine, though. Like, even if he does knock us out, we still have our carving to fall back on. The only devastating thing he could do is end to two, and I don't get anything good, I guess. What strong energy? 20 plus choice band 30. Lance pull 60, QE 130. Am I missing something? I don't know. I don't know, Jack. Um, are you talking about donking Drampa? Because you can donk Drampa as long as you have the stadium strong and choice band. I right, get all tails. Okay, nice. He's getting. I'm getting really lucky here with his coin flips. He did end me to two, also. Okay. No, dang it. Alright, I'll take it though. At least, at least it wasn't like Zygarde where he just immediately knocked me out. Hey, look at that. Okay, and then I'll just do. I mean, it's an item. I don't even care though. Let's get rid of those two choice bands on that Garbodor. And I guess we end again. Try to draw into something. Hex Maniac. Not bad. We can shut down Victini and get lucky, hopefully. We got Parallel though, which I can do also. Get rid of some of his bench. We can get rid of Ultra Moon. How's your day? Oh, good. But yeah, how you doing, Toxapex? Thanks for stopping by today. It's funny that you show up in the stream when I'm playing against the Toxapex deck. The irony. But we'll hit him here. And I mean, if he doesn't uh, heal himself, we can just bring in Zygarde and knock him out. He's only played one max potion, right? Yeah, so you can... Yep, there it is. Alright, rip all that damage. I think our Lycanroc can survive the turn, though. I don't think we're going to get knocked out here, which is good. I'm surprised he got rid of a Rangaroo, though. He's got nine cards left. I didn't even realize. Okay, this dude is really close to getting decked out. I mean, I'm not saying we can stall him, but uh, if it comes down to that, maybe. Maybe. But yo, if you're just tuning in the stream, welcome, and I am just grinding the ladder. Um, I got a fighting daily challenge, which I'm pretty sure we got done after this game. Okay, Spike Cannon, get quad tails after you reflip. No, dang it. He's going to keep that too, isn't he? Yeah, dang it. That's a lot of... No, only 90. I forgot he didn't have the choice band on. Super Rod, I don't need that. I guess we just hex him here and hope he doesn't max potion again. It's kind of my safest bet. We can do 160 damage and then just finish him off with Cell Storm. But uh, we do desperately need top deck. We have not used a single Sycamore yet, so hopefully the Poke Gods hit me up with a good old Sycamore soon. Because that'd be great. So, how much would Garbodor be doing? Only 80 damage, so it's not really going to do much. He'd have to find Ultra of the Moon to knock me out, unless he wants to really risk it with the coin flips. He would need two heads to take me out here. Unless he puts a choice band down, he would need one head. So hopefully, Lycanroc can take it like a champ and survive the turn. You can do this, Lycanroc. Sycamore. Okay, I mean, you got one card left in your deck. At that point, I get his Lysander Victini out. He's used up his Super Rod too, right? Mm, yeah. Field Blower. Okay, that's fine. Some more items, but Garb's already knocking me out. We do need to top deck something, though, if we're going to get out of this. I might even just have to bring in Carbon just to stall, because it's not taking many prizes. He's used two Lysanders. He's used one Verse Seeker. How many? He must have a few VS Seekers prize. He definitely has one in his hand, so Zygarde won't survive the turn here. But we're going to have to bring out Carbon. I mean, I could risk it, hope to get an energy top deck, but I can't play that risky. Okay, that's fine. We can just build up the other... Zygarde, then. 
hit him here for 40. He definitely has a Versus Seeker to uh, Lysander me out, but that's fine. As long as we do that. Yeah, you're hitting a Drampa, not one hitting it. You're two. Nah, nah, Jack. Uh, doesn't Donk me knock out the active and win? Yeah, th I mean, well, no, it also, you can mean, like, you knock it out on the turn, like, your first turn, too. Even if you don't win the game. But, like, no, Jack, with a strong energy, a stadium, and a choice ban, you one-shot uh, Drampa with Zygarde. That's why I like Zygarde. I use Tox Specs to Mega Alkazam deck. Eh, that's not bad. It's a little bit of a clunky play. Ooh, be a Seeker. You can end, you can buy himself some time. That's not a Lysander, though. I mean, he kind of had to do that, didn't he? All right, he can end. That's going to help me. Hopefully give me a Sycamore so I can start to make a bit of a comeback. Ooh. Okay, and then I don't think I'll play that, though. I think we're in a good spot. Garb can't one-shot me. We have not played that many items. We've only played, like, a few. Oh, Choice Band, though. Hold on. 40, 60, 80, 120. Okay, that's fine. We can, we can take a hit. We can finish him off here with Zygarde. Let's see what we top deck. Ultra Ball? No thanks. I guess we just land rate them. Force him to have to uh, end out of this situation that he's in. Or try and knock me out one hit and then, I don't know, end me. But that's not going to happen. Oh, weakness, that's right. Yeah, I told you, Zach. I told you, man. I told you. Drampa weak to fighting. Um, yeah, fighting types are really underrated right now. That's why Passimian got us cut some of the hype it did at Nats. It's pretty hard to set up, but when you can, it's amazing, yeah. I mean, I think one of the best things you can do with Toxpex is play, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Max Elixir. All right, end of one. Give me a Sycamore. I have not seen a single Sycamore all game. Or give me my Tapu Lele, at least. Come on, man. What the heck are these draws? So, no, what do I don't need you? He's building up that uh, GX attack. All right, hopefully he gets unlucky with the Spike Cannon. Nope. Nope. Come on, why you do this to me, game? Not like this. I don't know if he has Max po Oh, the top deck gods are real. The top decks are real. Here we go. If we can hit that Zygarde tool card, we win the game. Rip. Yeah, we whiffed. Dang, bro. Not cool game. Okay, we'll just dump as many cards as we can. Oh, that sucks, though. I was hoping to get the win there. Was it in the deck? It is. Come on, power memory. Where were you, bro? I needed you the one time. Uh, does he even have a Psychic Energy left? He's played 7... He's played 10. I don't know if he plays 11 or not, so... I think it might be safer just to do Cell Storm here and heal up. And force him to have a Psychic. If he has it, then that play didn't work out. But then we can just finish him off with Land Wraith. Or if anything, I can bring out Carbink, because it can take a hit. Hmm. If he has a Psychic, I think we actually might lose the game. Doesn't matter. I remember someone stating that Wobble was inactive and Lele still went off of Wobble's ability. Psych like Pokemon like Lele. Yeah. Uh, yo, or Games, how you doing, bro? Thanks for stopping by on the stream today. Had a dirt moment there. It's all good, Jack. It's all good. And it looks like he didn't have it, so uh, that is indeed game. Pretty pretty good game. That was a close game, too. Pretty intense, I'm not gonna lie. Didn't know Toxpex could uh, give me that much trouble. But you can see Toxpex, when it's not playing against a Psychic deck like Garb, the deck can actually be pretty threatening. So a nice little win there. Can we get the 444 coins? I've seen it on Reddit, and I have not gotten it yet after the few days this event's been going on. Can we get it? We are going to get our daily challenge done. 44. Dang it. I was hoping for 444. But that's fine. At least we're getting, like, 80 coins out of that, which is good. And we're going to be able to get that 25 coins. No, we're getting even more. We're getting over 100 coins from that game. That's awesome. But yo, shout out to everyone who's tuned in the stream tonight. Um, okay, so we got our daily challenge done. Now we have to do a Dark Evo challenge. I, might, I mean, I don't have a Zorg break. I only have two. I'm kind of thinking of just playing Umbreon Zorg then. Because that'll work. So we'll play Umbreon Zorg instead of Zorg Drampa. Where is it? Umbreon Hammers, Umbreon Zorg. Right, we'll play some Umbreon Zorg, get this uh, daily Dark challenge done, and then I guess we'll do any deck you guys want me to play for a bit. Grind the ladder a little bit and try and get some good wins in. For a bit. Seems good. Uh, losing the coin flip. Alright, are we playing against... I guess we're playing against Garb again. But we don't play too many items. Like, we can play the game out like we did last game. Make his Garb's not one-shot me. We should be okay. Uh, we are going to Mulligan, unfortunately. Uh, I guess best case scenario, we start with, I guess, maybe Zorua. Just so we can maybe confuse him if he starts with a big basic like Trampa. Let's see, though. Alright, now... Uh, we didn't get a Dark Energy. Man, I, I keep getting hands where I get a Bridget, but no Dark Energies. 
Like we get the EV start, we don't have any dark energies to work it off of. Yo, Ethereal Trace, how welcome to the stream, dude. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been about a week since I've streamed. Uh, I just haven't really had the time. Plus, it's summer, so you know I've been hanging out with a lot of friends and stuff. But uh, yo, welcome to the stream, Ethereal. How you doing, bro? How you doing? Yeah, how's life? Oh, it is. Oh, it is Mewtwo. Mewtwo's Zoark too, which is interesting. Level ball. I don't think he plays Garb. And before he does, uh, I think we'll just get Zorua then. I mean, I guess this is a good turn just to do this then. Kind of wish I could build up Eevee, but whatever. We'll just do Bridget, and uh, uh, I guess we'll get we'll get Coco because it does have Fear Treat. I need to save that one bench spot for Lele too, so that's fine. We'll just pass, and then next turn we'll grab Tapu Lele. He's probably gonna take us out with Shatter Shot or Psychic Infinity, and then we can just hit him hard with Zork. Yeah, unless we can knock him out if he fills up his bench. Play my boy wishy washy. Yeah, I could. I might. I, I might do that. Seasick after this. Um, after we get this challenge done, I do still have my wishy washy max elixir deck. Does Zora break copy GX attacks? It does, Benji, but it technically then uses your own GX attack, so it's a little risky. Oh, he just mega evolved. That's pretty good, actually. I think we still attack him here, right? We can wait a turn and go Zora break. Actually, I don't know if I want to do that. I think we're just gonna go in. Just goes. In a bit with Lele. We're filling up our bench means that Zorak wrecks me, but that's fine. Okay, best thing I gotta hope here is to get an Umbreon down. Umbreon would be really good with the sniping, but we can also Dark Call slow the Mewtwo down a bit. So we'll go for Sycamore. Hopefully he doesn't play Garb, because I might have to just play through a lot of items here. We should be okay. Alright, come on, Sycamore. Give me some energy or the choice band be good. Alright, nice. Ooh. We got Magma's base. I'm gonna put that down since we filled up our bench. So we can put the Umbreon in play, which is pretty good. Uh, what would Choice Band do? So we're doing 70 damage. Choice Band would be 100. We do 90. He'd still survive. I think we'll do it anyways. I don't really mind that. I think we'll still go for the Choice Band play. Kind of wish he had more Pokemon this been. Wishy Washy. Actually, alright, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I can't play my Wishy Washy deck. I still got it. Um, and I guess, yeah, we hit him with Mind Jack here for 100 damage. And then Sycamore again next turn and hope to hit DCE. And uh, another choice band, take him out. One thing I'm scared of is damage change. That would screw me over completely. Because he could damage change all that damage off, and then we get knocked out. That would not be fun. You know, grabs his own dark break. He could mind jack me, but... Uh, this is weird. Does he? How many dark energies does he play, then? It's kind of weird. He plays psychic energy, but then he plays dark. I wonder what would happen if Zorak Break copies another Zorak Break's foul play. Yeah, I actually do get an infinite loop, uh, Ethereal. Um, it happened with someone on with Soda Widow on the sub on the PDCGO subreddit. I saw that video. It's an infinite loop. Been thinking about using Octillery with Mal and Sogaleo to see if I can make it more consistent. Yeah, that could work too, Jack. Um, like Octillery and Mal is a really really good underrated combo. I mean, Malo, Mal is such a good supporter. I think it's going to be a pretty good staple next format. Even though we're not losing many supporters, like, we're not losing life sand or anything, it still could be a good staple, though. Kind of, why would he do Field Blower now? I guess he wanted to get rid of Magnus Base, but unless he's not knocking me out, then I'm fine with that. Reason why I like Mind Jack, yeah, Mind Jack's a pretty fun attack. Alright, be a Seeker, he's already went for the Sycamore, though. He's grabbing Lysander, I guess he has a plan for next turn, then. Because he already went with Sycamore, so he can't do Lysander. Well, he's burning both Sycamores. Okay, or both via Seekers, I don't know. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, so he will take me out here. This is the turn. I mean, we could technically Dark Call him too. Slow him down a bit. I, eh, maybe we can do that. Uh, actually, no. Let's just go for... Let's just go for Sycamore. If we have to Dark Call, we'll Dark Call him. Like, if we do with DCE, I think we will go for Dark Call here. So let's see. And we do with it. Alright, that's fine. We'll go for some dark call then. Rip the de rip the rip the whip though. We'll uh we'll dark call both the energies off this Mewtwo. Seems fine by me. I mean I would have liked to have shadow bulleted with a choice band, but I'll, I'll I'll go with the dark call, that works too. Also like Zorak GX. Zorak GX is really awesome. It's literally like a reprint of Empoleon from Dark Explorers, which is one of my favorite stage twos. Um I'm glad Zorak Break looks really good. Stage one Pokemon, it's gonna be really good. Um, though Skyfield is rotating out, that kind of does suck for Zork, but other than that, I think Zork breaks a pretty solid card. I just wish its attack did a little bit more damage, but yeah, it's going to be a really good card. 
I'm glad my boy Zoark Break is there. Plus, this is stage two or stage one, so you can. It's really easy to get into play. Like Galissapod is really good too. Galissapod GX and Zor GX are gonna be two really good stage one GXs. End of six. Interesting. Okay, thankfully we don't have any more bench Pokemon, so Zor Zor can't just come in and mind jack me. Can we get a Lysander though? No, we don't. Okay, we're not really getting too lucky with our draws. I would really like a Lysander just to finish this Mewtwo off, get it out of the way. But I'm fine with him going for mind jack. Actually, we can't two shot him. I just realized, huh, that's not fun. I guess we'll finish him off with Tapu Lele then. That sucks. Yeah, I'm going to miss Skyfield. Yeah, Skyfield was such a crazy stadium. VS Seeker rotating is probably the biggest card we're going to lose. Imagine Zoric GX if Skyfield was still standard, yeah. Um, I mean, I think rotation will happen after the set comes out, but yeah. I. Do Ooh, we did get the Lysander too. Plus the Choice Band. I guess we'll do it. I don't mind that at all. Even though I don't really want to walk into that, but that's fine. We can just, you know, we can still soften him up and then just hit him with Lele, I guess. I mean, we can uh, fly and flip because he already has Mind Jack. Another DC, another. Okay, we got Zoark, so we can actually maybe finish him off with Zoark. Ah, uh, he we mm, he need to put a more Pokemon on his bench. Hopefully, he does that so we can take him out with Zoark. Yeah, the hype is real. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. 07? Yo, Rayon, welcome to the stream. But what do you mean by 07, dude? What do you mean by 07? So he brings out Mewtwo, obviously, because he has stand in. Hmm. I'm just glad we took out that Mega Mewtwo, though. Oh, whoops, dropped a quarter, but I'm glad we took out Mega Mewtwo. Sycamore. Okay, he put another energy on. Interesting. I don't know why he did that. <laughs> I mean, I guess he needs foul play to snipe me, but that's still a weird play. Tauros, too. Dang it, but at th th this point, we've kind of put down enough Pokemon, we can just win the game by Lysander. But we can take him out with Zorak here, which I think I'll do. And I guess he is going to Shadow Bullet me. He's probably going to hit my Zorua, though, and try and knock it out. But then, we'll finish him off with Mind Jack. Right? It does finish him off, right? I think we're good, we're good. It does literally just enough. Or no, it does 130, but no, we're still getting a knockout. Going to miss Via Seeker. Yeah, Via Seeker, that card is going to be really crazy. Like, I don't know if the, how the format's going to do without Via Seeker. Like, you're going to have to play, like, three Lysanders now and, like, four ends, four Sycamores. It's going to be really weird. Plus, I think more decks are going to play Tapu Lele now. Special Charge. I think we've played two DCs, right? Not just one. All right, whatever. We'll just hit him with a Mind Jack, take him out here. Uh, kind of scared of Tauros, though. But, I mean, if we Mind Jack him, we can take him out with Lele or Umbreon. Magma's base, okay. Maybe I could have went for Drampa, too. Since it does do enough damage maybe to one-shot the Tauros, but it doesn't matter. It's an emote for saluting. Oh, okay, all right, yeah. Yeah, I'm, this isn't obviously on Twitch, but yeah. Didn't know that, Rayon, but now I do, the more you know. Everyone gonna play Puzzle. Yeah, that, that too, Benji. Yeah, I, I just realized, yeah, you could use Puzzle. That would be a perfect replacement for Verse Seeker. Still would be a bit more clunkier, though, because instead of just having the Via Seeker in your hand just to immediately get your supporter, you would have to have both Puzzles, so it would be clunky, but that would obviously be a good alternative, too. Really would like a Lysander right now, though. Okay, 10 damage. Maybe Trampa wouldn't be bad after all. Hey, a Dark Energy. Okay, we can put that onto you. I guess we're going to go for Sika here. Uh, he played a Delinquent, right? No, he didn't. I don't see a point in putting Mega's base down anyways. He's basically filled up his bench with everything he's probably going to use, so it's fine. Ultra Ball, all right, good. I'm going to get rid of Umbreon, or Flareon, and Vaporeon. I think we're just going to get another Trampa here. Maybe I should, I would have liked to have built up Drampa there, because then we could retreat into it, but that's fine. We'll hit him hard with a Mind Jack here, force him to have to go into Mega Mewtwo to take me out, or retreat into Tauros. Still no Lysanders, though. I don't know where they are. Oh, one's in the discard. Didn't even realize. Rip. If I ever make a Pokemon, uh, if I ever make a YouTube channel, Zork will be my mascot Pokemon. Oh, nice, Benji. Yeah, I mean, recording PDC Joe isn't as bad as, like, making a video on, like, your PlayStation, because you don't need a capture card. Just, you just get, like, a decent screen recorder, and you should be good. All right, Horn Attack. That did enough to knock me out, too. Gotta be kidding me. I guess we'll just Trampa him, then. I mean, he's played a few DCs, right? No, just one. Right, that's fine. We'll hit him with Trampa. Hmm. Hmm. I think we'll keep this hand, then. We'll hit him with Trampa and keep this hand, and then next turn, what we'll do is will hmm, maybe i should put magnus base down because technically we would have been able to knock out zoark 
if we had the Magma's base. Another- How many DCs do you have? Really? Really, my man? Hmm. I was thinking, like, Lysander Mewtwo, but... It only has 40 HP. Ooh, bring out Lele, that's fine. We still got Flipstone chilling in our hand. Horn Tech for 60. Hopefully it's his last DC, though. He's getting really lucky here. I kind of want to... Hmm. Alright, let's do this. I'm going to DC the Umbreon. I mean, maybe I could have went into Flying Flip there, but nah, that's fine. If I do Kikui, does he have the last DC in his hand? I doubt he does, because he only have one left. I'll risk it. Okay, that's good. We got Via Seeker, which is kind of what I was hoping for. We can Berserk him. Next turn, we'll Berserk him. Okay. Wait, actually, I had the knockout, didn't I? Dang, I had the knockout. Rip, rip, rip. I had the knockout the whole time. I could have Kikui DC Berserked him. Wow, I suck. But that's fine. We'll Lysander it out anyways and just hit him with Umbreon then. Rip, I had the knockout the entire time. Nah, that's fine. We'll just knock him out with Lysander. Tauros is probably his only threat in play, because Mad Bull would win him the game. So I'll bring this up. We'll slap that DCE on, and we will Berserk him. I had the win last... Or no, I didn't have the win, but I had the knockout last turn. That's good, though. We still got it. It's all good. Hopefully we get our last Via Seeker. All right, that works, too. Let me just bring out Mewtwo in the game. Should be good. I think I'm going to take out Dar Umbreon, though, to get this daily challenge done quicker. Also, that Super Evelto coming out with 90 damage for Dark and DC when you attach. Yeah, it's like a Super Oblivion Wing. Plus, you yeah, got Raikou, too, which Raikou also uh, does the thing, too. And if you guys listen to Metal, if so, try out the band Ginger. They're really good. I've heard of them, Jack. I've heard of them. And you can see, yeah, kind of, he kind of lost. All right, 4-4 four, four coins, Poke Gods, give it to me. PDCGO Gods, give me those 4-4 four, four Poke Coins that I have seen people on Reddit get. Come on, it's the moment of truth. No. 44 coins. Dang it, bro. Did we get the daily challenge done? I think we did. Did we? Can't tell. We're close to the end of chest, though. We can open up a chest. Did I get Did I get the dark daily challenge done? I hope I did, so I can use a different deck here. Oh, it's... Wait, what? How did I not get anything done with this challenge? Wait, what? Hold on, I had this challenge the entire time. I guess the game glitched out. I guess we have to do another game with our deck. I... That... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What the heck happened there? That was weird. I At least, I think I got like four dark Pokemon to play. I saw the fighting thing go too. That was really weird. Brain fart? Yeah. Ah, uh, that was... It happens? Hmm. I guess. That was a weird glitch though. So I saw... I was wondering why I saw the fighting symbol pop up for that fighting daily challenge. I guess there's their answer. Looks like we're up against Vespaquin. Kind of wish I played Karen in the deck. To be honest with you, Karen would be nice. But Umbreon is good against Vesquin because you can snipe stuff and hit him for 90s. So I think Vesquin is one of our better matchups, if I'm going to be honest with you. Dark Hall can also screw him over too because Vesquin only plays the 4 DCs. So we should hopefully be okay. Probably not though, annoying my luck. That glitch is kind of annoying though. We, we would have been a little bit of our done our challenge though. Dang it though. I guess we'll do one game with the, with the Dark deck and then switch over just so I don't bore you guys with the same deck over and over. That's dumb, though. Probably could have gotten the daily challenge done, too. It's fine, though. Are we going first or second? Oh, it's the Omega. Yeah, that, that's fine. All right. We'll go Bridget here, get two Eevees, and a Zork. Yeah. I was thinking go Tapu Koko, but it doesn't really matter, I don't think. We can evolve here into Eevee. We have Flareon, too. If we had Jolteon, we'd be able to hit the Omega for weakness. I don't think we need Flareon, though, in this matchup, because, I mean, unless he plays, like, some big... I don't know, some big Pokemon that can take a hit from Flareon, but... Yeah, I don't think we're gonna need Flareon, so it should be okay. I think I'll just discard it next turn, get Zoark. We need a retreat, though, and get a DC, so... We can, if we can turn to Umbreon and with Shadow Bullet, we're gonna be in a really good spot. See an Acrobike? It's against a Pokemon to discard. Wish I... Maybe I should put Karen in this deck. I don't know, like... Vespaquin didn't perform too well at Nats, so I don't know if maybe it's needed. I guess we just got unlucky then finding a Vespaquin matchup. Oh, it plays Vileplume, too. That could be interesting. Might have to actually get Flareon to play, then, just just to be safe. I guess one thing we can do, if he doesn't float Vileplume, because he got rid of a Float Stone, we can Lysander Trap and then Tapu Koko Spam. Karen just hurts Vesquin. Yeah, like, if you Karen them, it's not an auto-win, but it puts you in such a good spot that you may as well win, because you have Via Seeker 2 to get your Karens back. Maybe I should have put Karen in here, I don't know. 
Oh, there's DCE. Okay, we just need to hit Floatstone then. Okay, see an Acrobite. Getting rid of Oddish. He's getting rid of some Pokemon for Vespa Quinn, but I'm fine with that. Mr. Nation, okay. Uh, is he going to get a turn 1 Yen Mega off with Forest of Giant Plants? Uh, Plume would be bad, though, too. We do have Lysander in our hand, though. I mean, we can also attack him with Lele, but he's obviously not going to play Energy. I think he only plays 4 DCE, so Lele probably can't attack him here. Do you run Oricorio? No, I don't, actually, Rayon. Maybe I should put that in. That's actually a good idea, dude. Thanks for telling me. Yeah, Oricorio as well. Yeah, maybe I should put Oricorio in here. I don't know what you could take out, though. Ooh. Okay, if that was a... Uh... Actually, no, let's just do this. Let's just Lysander out. Yeah, sure. We'll just do Ultra Ball and get a... Uh... Get Zork in play. Might as well just knock him out. I was thinking, like... Risk it, but I mean, we have the knockout with Tapu Lele, and plus we could save this other DC instead of discarding it, so that's fine. Might as well just do this, take him out. Vesquin is a bigger threat than Yamega, I think. A more energy, it's not bad. What's up, Benji? Yo, 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 CJJ, how you doing, dude? Welcome to the live stream. Is Misty actually good? Eh, it's, it's not a bad card. I think it's pretty good in decks that don't play that much energy. Oh, he hasn't played it yet, never mind. It's in his hand. Oh, he's getting rid of all his gloom. Like, he plays Revitalizer, obviously, but... It's hurting his chances of getting Vile Plume play, which is nice. Uh, Misty's Determination is good in, like, decks that don't play much energy. But now with Energy Lotto in the format, Misty's Determination is pretty much useless. Unless you want to run it over Energy Lotto, because you don't want to play as many items for Garb. But, I mean, it's not a terrible card. It gets you any card you want, so it wouldn't be bad in, like, a Stage 1 deck or a Stage 2 deck. Uh, what's the Full Art? Uh, the Full Art for what, Brian? Um, it's Midnight here? Oh, nice. Yeah, it's only 7.33 where I am right now. Sycamore, okay. Yeah, Mystic Determination. It's not a bad card. I think it's decent, but Energy Lotto kind of replaces it. Because the only reason people run Mystic Determination is because they don't place much energy. But now with Energy Lotto in the format, you don't need it. Floatstone. Okay, does he get a Pokemon off? If he can't attack me... Uh, oh, nice, he doesn't. Nice. All right, what is DCE here? We'll go for Sycamore. Can we hit our Floatstone? That'd be great. Ugh, come on. How do we not hit the Floatstone? I don't think we play Shaman. Uh, we'll put this down just to put pressure on my opponent. I guess we'll just energy drive for 40. I mean, I guess we're softening it up for a Shadow Bullet knockout, but ideally we would have wanted to take a Shadow Bullet knockout. Oh, Full Art for the ladder, sorry. Oh, oh, Brian, uh, the Full Art is Team Rocket's handiwork. Not a terrible Full Art because it's got its uses, but it's not the best, obviously. It's not going to be insane. Uh, but yeah, it, it is Team Rocket's handiwork. And then the EX of the ladder is Alakazam. I think he's playing Misty for discard, maybe. I think he's Mace. he might just be playing a 2 for the DCs, because he probably only plays a 4, but yeah, maybe for the discard. Uh, Psychic Sturd Eye, discards many cards. Ooh, I forgot about this card. I was actually looking into making a deck that discards cards from your hand, and I forgot about Psychic Sturd Eye. That could work, too. I guess he plays... I guess this is like an anti-guard best win deck, because he does have Bunnelby to get his items back. Vile Plume to lock the items in play, and he has, like, Psychic Sturd Eye here, and he plays a lot of, like, other random supporters... Okay, there's a Yen Mega. He needs to get five cards in his hand, which he has. He has to play one more card from his hand to attack me here, but he's not even doing much damage because we don't have a tool on us. But then I think next turn we'll just retreat. I didn't want to discard the DC, so you're probably like, why didn't you just retreat Umbreon? I didn't want to get rid of the DC. Handiwork, yeah. Oh, cool, yeah. Discard his Pokemon. Yeah, I think that's why. He plays a lot of Pokemon discarding cards like Acrobike. Pincer 2. This is like a Grass Box deck. Holy. He's low on cards, though. I like that. Plus, he's lost his Special Charge. Ultra Ball. Okay, that's not going to help you get your hand. Unless he's going for Vespaquin. Does it actually take me out here? 10, 20, 30, 70, 70, 80, 100, 120, 130, 140, 150. Yeah, he has a knockout with Vespaquin, but then we knock him out with Shadow Bullet. Hmm, we can hit him with Shadow Bullet. Ah, I was thinking two shot the end mega, that'd be good, but no, we can t I guess we Shadow Bullet him. And then we can just build up our other Umbreon. Okay, I guess he is going for Vespaquin. I'm fine with that. I don't mind him taking out Lele. Lele was a bit more cannon fodder. I got another Vespaquin down. That's a little annoying. How many DCs has this man got left? No, he still got all his DCs, right? Yeah, that's fine, though. I guess we can drop Lele and end him. All right. What do we get as a top deck? DCE? I'm just going to put that on Umbreon now, just so I don't have to draw into it later. And I think we'll Lele here. <laughs> Gotta put damage on it because my dumb thing, but whatever. 
Uh, Hex Maniac could work. We could do... And I think we just end him here and hope for the best. Um, I kind of want to Ultra Ball too, but I think it's better just to end him. End him to four. I don't know if it matters, to be honest, but I will do it anyways. Drampa. Ooh. That could be good. Hmm. Yeah, I'll put Drampa down. That could be good. I don't know if I'll regret that or not. We can copy Bee Revenge, but it's not going to do much damage, but... At the very least, we can do Shadow Bullet here and take him out. We'll hit that Bunnel Bee too, so next turn we can take more prizes. We can take two prizes next turn, which is good. Choice Band, alright. So this is good. If he, I'm hoping he doesn't attack me. Afro Trash TCG just stubbed. Yo, thanks Afro Trash. I actually think I'm close to... Uh, I think that's the 1700 subscribers, so shout out to you, Afro Trash. Thanks for subbing, bro. It means a lot. Um, also, just completed the ladder. Rip, did you actually... You completed the entire ladder, bro. Congratulations, dude. That's crazy. I mean, I've been... Back in the day when we got our first floor end ladder, I ended up beating it really quickly. But that's crazy, Afro. Good job, man. Dang. That's crazy, dude. I mean, it's not too hard now with the win streaks. You'd have to play, like, a really... Like, a deck that, like, has a really good... Really good, um, win rate. But, yeah, thanks for stopping Afro Trash and congrats. Now, if he whiffs DCE, we're basically gonna knock out the Vesquin and the Bundle B. <gasps> he didn't whiff it, but this... Not the best play. Obviously, he can't knock out my Umbreon with Bundle B, but this is really good. This is really good, because now we can just Lysander, Vesquin, take it out, and leave him hopeless. Unless he has a Vitalizer, but this is good. Yeah, boy, yeah. Yeah, but congrats, Afro Trash. Remember when people play Birch? Yeah, Birch, I don't think is that good anymore. Um, I think, wait, what's that with Birch in again? Primal Clash, yeah. Birch is rotating out anyways, but yeah. Birch isn't a bad card. I mean, it's a decent, like, if you, I don't know, if you can't afford it for some reason, I guess it's not bad, but... It is rotating out. The big, I mean, you still have your ends and Sycamores. I hope the Sycamore and End Engine stay around for a really long time, though. I think we do desperately need it. But we can take the double knockout here. I'm glad he went for the Rototiller over using B Revenge. And that works out perfectly. I mean, we still technically could have taken the two prizes, but it's better so that we can't get any damage. So I think we're basically in the point of winning the game now. Sycamore, yeah. Oh, no. Okay. I thought he only had seven cards left. Played Lapras. Oh, nice Afro Trash. Nice. Lapras is a pretty good deck. Um, my only issue is there's a lot of grass types, but Lapras is a pretty good deck. Uh, it's more, I'd call it not a rogue deck, but more of a tier 2 deck. Like, just out if like there was a top 10 best decks in the format, Lapras would be just an honorable mention. Uh, so close, only one more. Yep. Puts the combi down. We basically win the game next turn if he doesn't get a Vespa win down. Shout out to Team Magma Secret Base. And hopefully this counts for our daily dark challenge thing. That was really dumb. But after this game, I am going to get a drink of water, because I am really thirsty right now. So, I'll do that, but yeah. So we can basically win the game next turn, thankfully. Unless this dude plays another Pokemon down. Special charge again. Okay. <laughs> Man, he ain't ending with those special charges, but yeah. His yeah, Mega can attack me, but with no tool on us, it's only doing a measly little 50 damage. DC on Combi and an Assault Boom. Alright, so that is game. I'll hit it with a Wall Played. It was an interesting deck, though. It was basically a Vesquin Grass Box deck, which is pretty cool. But yeah, we can win the game here with the Shadow Bullet. Shout out to Team Magma Secret Base. And there you go. So we win the game. I think we only got three Evos in play, but that's good. But we are getting closer to getting that box. And I really want those 444 coins I've been seeing people on Reddit get. I haven't gotten that yet, and I've been playing basically the entire ladder throughout this entire double coin thing. That was a really interesting Vesquin deck, though. Um, We got a chest, which... I think I'll open up in a minute. I'm going to get a drink of water really quickly, so I will be right back. All right, and I am back. Whew, okay, so we'll open up that chest, I guess, that we got. GG, yeah, it was a pretty good game. And got a reprint Fate Clyde. Yeah, I know, Benji. Fate Clyde, I doubt, is not going to rotate. Um, I just, I want End to stay around. Like, End's one of those cards I think should be a, a format staple, but I don't know if they'll reprint it or not. I'm just surprised we haven't seen a, a Via Seeker reprint. Oh, wow, what, what, a, what a chest. What a chest. All right, so 
Let's play a different deck now. I think someone said they wanted to see Wishy Washy, so I'll play Wishy Washy if I still have it. Actually, let me go back to Deck Manager and check it. So, uh, so what, Benji? Wait, are you talking to me or are you talking to somebody else? Alright, so type in Wishy Washy. Hey, okay, I still do have the deck. I guess we can make some edits to it then. I don't really think we need to add anything, do we? Nah, I think we're good. Alright, well, someone said they want to see Wishwashi, so I'll play it. Oh, wait! I don't have Lele in the deck, that's right. Mm, I think I'll go one Shay, one Lele. Eh, that's fine. I like having Shaman in the deck, because you can draw cards and pull off uh, easier Max Elixir and Aqua Patch it. So, I don't mind Shaman at all. Uh, we'll place the Sleeve 2 while we're at it. Ugly, ugly Blastoise Sleeve, Kappa. And we'll put on... I don't know. Let's just now nah, we'll put on those. We'll put on the World 2016 sleeves that I got. Seems good. I think they'll print a new card with the same effect as N. Probably. Yeah. They. I just if they reprint N though, it'd be nice because then you can still use the full art. I mean, they might. Maybe they might make like a nerf version of it or something. Like it could not be the opposite way, but I don't know. If they do, maybe it'll be more nerfed. So I think Pokemon realized how crazy N is. But hopefully it stays around. That'd be great. Well, we'll play a game with Wishy Washy. While we're at it, get some wins in. Wishy Washy is good with Rodom. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, welcome stream, Hawk Freezy. Starts with Shaman every time. Oh, that's probably gonna happen. I only play like 12 Pokemon on this deck, so I'm not I'm not gonna be surprised that does happen. Oh, ooh, we win the coin flip though, that's good. Can't remember what we're playing against. If it's Garb, I think it's not a loss, but if not, we should be good. Let's see. Gonna mulligan. Alright. Watch us start with Shaman though. I'm not I'm not even gonna be surprised if we start with Shaman Ethro. <laughs> not even be surprised. Ideally, you want to start with either Lapras for Collect or Palkia. So, yeah, hopefully we don't get that Shaman start. But let's see, though. But if you call it Ethro, I'm going to be really... Oh my god, you called it! Dude, you called the Shaman start. Oh my god. Wow. That... Can I get a rip in the chat for the Shay start? Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, it's a Turnator deck. I mm, I don't want to discard a Max Sixer, but I kind of have to. Lysander got nerfed with Guzmo, yeah. Um, I mean, it's not even a bad nerf, though, just because technically you do still have... Um, uh, is Palkia in the deck? It's not rip. Hmm. I'll just grab Wishy Washy, then. I don't even care. I'll, like, Sacrifice Shaman. Got any Turbo Lapras decks? I do, Afro. I do. I don't know if I've updated Gardens Rising. Yeah, Guzmo's okay, though, just because you do still have, um, you still have, like, Pokemon Free Retreat, and you still have Floats on the format, so I think Guzmo would work good. Hello, yo, Manmo, welcome to the stream, dude. How you doing today, bro? How you doing tonight? Rip, rip, wait, 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 why is everyone saying rip? Rip, rip what? Oh, the Shaman start, right, duh. I'm a dummy, I'm a dummy, guys. <laughs> Ethro called the Shaman start. Dang, no. Ooh, Judge, okay. Cool, support for the turn, Kappa. Alright, can we get a way to build up this wishy-washy soon? Alright, I guess that's not bad. If we can hit this max elixir, then I think I'll retreat Shaman and go into Lapras and just use Collect for now. Draw some cards. That seems good. The rip and the bad luck. Yeah, the bad luck. We lost a max elixir, which kind of sucks, but it's all good. Alright, unless we top to a Sycamore. No, okay. So we'll drop the uh, Lapras. Alright, can we hit this max elixir? How do we not hit that? No. Come on. Uh, I'm just going to keep building up Wishy Washy then. Wow, we're getting really unlucky here. How did that Max Elixir whiff? We played 12 energies. Talonflame. Ooh. Is this... This thing's weak to water now, right? Never mind. Wait, does, does it not have a weakness when it goes to fire type? <laughs> I don't think it does. Hmm. Arrow Blitz does knock me out, though, with that choice band. Rip. Rip Shaman. I think we're going to have to go collect for now and hope for the best. We're getting some pretty bad luck right now. When someone red cards you, red card is a crazy card with Delinquent and uh, Serena. That's a crazy combo. Like, Serena, Delinquent, red card, Absol is like a crazy combo. You technically lock your opponent down completely when you do that. My opponent has a really good turn. I need to top deck N here. N would be amazing. Because my opponent has a huge hand off of that. No, Super, I don't need you. Uh, I guess we just feel blower. Alright, collect. Give me an N. Or some, I mean, N would be awesome. Hey, okay, that works too. 
As long as the uh, Sycamore doesn't work with, then we should be okay. Um, hopefully what he got with that Town Flame doesn't let him knock me out with Bright Flame, because that could happen. He can Bright Flame Choice Bait me, and then we'd be in some trouble. I don't mind starting with Lele, at least it can attack. Yeah, exactly, at least Lele can attack. Next game, you start with Lele. Alright, Ethro, let's see if we start with Lele next game. Okay, hopefully this dude doesn't take out my Lapras. If he does, I think we're in some trouble. Another Judge? What? Dude, why are you playing Judge? Oh, no. Now we're not even getting a supporter. Watch. What do we get? Yep, told you. No energy either. <laughs> oh, my God. This dude is trolling me today. Mm, guess we just... I don't know. This is bad, though. We're going to lose the game next turn. We're not lose. We're going to be in trouble. Plus, Lele has no weakness yet. The only problem I have with Lele, it doesn't hit for weakness. It's one of the things I don't like about it. Manaphy, I mean, cool. It doesn't help, though. I guess we're just going to have to trap this thing install for a bit. Kind of have to. Alright, collect. Come in, clutch. Give me some good cards, please. Okay, good. We're getting back in the game. It's like every time I collect, I actually get the Sycamore. Later when you needed to play Lele for supporter, you'll regret starting with it. Oh, for sure, Ethro. Especially in the late game when I need a Lele for that Lysander and Lele for the end. I, I mean, maybe I should just take out Shaman and then just run the Lele. Because if I start, if I didn't start with Shaman, we wouldn't be behind a prize here. Alright, my opponent's going to go for Kakui. He probably plays a few switching cards. We'll see if he can hit one, though. Hopefully he doesn't. Alright, done. Nice. Alright, good. I guess I'm going to try and go for a knockout this turn with Wishy Washy. Yeah, let's go for it. Wishy Washy, give us that knockout that we need. What? Dude, where are the Aqua Patches hiding at? What? Dude, where are my Aqua Patches? What? Okay, we are not drawn into anything right now. Where are the other, where are the other Aqua Patches? What? Okay, we are getting so unlucky with the Wishy Washy deck today, guys. Luckily, he plays Super Odd in the deck. Yo, Richard Omega, hi, dude. How you doing, bro? Thanks for stopping by on the stream today, dude. How you doing tonight, bro? How you doing? Another judge. Does this guy seriously play four judge? Oh my god, what the heck? And the judge probably gonna give us a bad hand, then we're gonna have to collect out of it again, right? Okay, that's not bad. Hopefully we can take him out with Wishy Washy next turn. Actually, I'm kind of glad to did that Field Blower too, so we don't have to waste the rough seas. Oh, we used our Super Odd, okay, good. So I'm gonna have to lose Manaphy here. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go in with wishy washy hopefully okay if we don't hit if we don't hit our aqua patch or super rod i am not gonna play this game anymore kappa i'm just kidding okay thank you thank you all right finally we can take him out wishy washy it took us long enough all right i'll die ball for a second lapras while i'm at it mm, maybe articuna wouldn't be bad either that's fine whatever we'll get lapras down and i will retreat into the wishy washy and we will blue surge him here for the knockout or 4, 440 damage, and uh, we'll just build up our big field of Laprasses, so, yeah, there we go. Wishy washy, you did it, though. Alright, here we go, we take our two prizes, what do we find? Okay, there's, that. okay, we finally hit a max elixir. Arsenal the Gamer, hey, hope I'm not too late. Nah, you're good, Arsenal, I'll probably be streaming for maybe another, like, half an hour or so, but you're welcome to the stream, dude, how you doing? Just grind ladder. I have a weird deck that I've tried out that has some good ratios. It's Raichu with XY, Garbodor from Guardians Rising, and the Evolutions from Ancient Origins. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, that could work too over using Raichu Lycanroc. Um, but yeah, Legend of Tommy. Yo, welcome to the stream, Tommy. How you doing, dude? Thanks for stopping by tonight. Uh, yeah, I've seen some Raichu decks. Yeah, Lycanroc Raichu is a pretty powerful deck. It's not like tier one by any means, but it is still a pretty good deck. Silent Lab. Wow, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> guess we're gonna have to water gun him. Uh, we still have another rough season in the deck, though. Wishy washy has a three retreat, so it's gonna take a while. More new people, that's great. Yeah, yeah, it is good. But yeah, welcome to the stream, guys. If you're new here, shout out to you guys and shout out to everyone who stopped by on the live stream tonight. You guys are awesome. Okay, hopefully this male gives us that last rough season so we can retreat, because we're gonna have to hit him with a measly water gun. He isn't even weak to water either. Like, it doesn't say Tom Flame Break is weak to water. Ooh, two males. Okay, we'll grab a Sycamore. I don't actually know if I want to do that, though. I don't want Wishy Wash to be stuck in the active spot. Alright, Sycamore again. Hmm. We don't need that Aqua Patch, do we? No, we don't. Okay. Yeah, we won't grab anything, then. Alright, Sycamore. If we get that Rough Seas, we're going to be in a really good spot. Hmm, we whiffed. Not too surprised, to be honest with you. But I guess we can Water Gun him for 20. I mean, sure. It at least sets him up for a Blizzard Bar Knockout, which is always a good thing. 
so that's not bad. Been good. How about you? How was your day? Oh, it was good, Richard. I mean, I kind of woke up really late. I think I woke up at like 3.30 in the afternoon. But no, my day's been going good, Richard. It's good to hear. Good to hear to you, dude. What y'all doing? Oh, I'm just well, I'm playing PC Joe, Tommy, obviously. <laughs> the main reason why I like Wishy Washy. Yeah, Wishy, I mean, I think it's an underrated GX. I don't think it's the worst GX ever made. It's definitely better than my boy, uh, Como O. Como O is just not good. Choice ban. It's time to Brace can knock me out. Sycamore, okay. Lose DCE, which... Wait, does Bright Flame say two DCEs? No, two fires. Okay, that's fine. Oh, I don't know what the DCs for, then. All we need to do is take out those Turnators to win. Oh, what? He just knocked... Oh, I forgot he had Arrow Blitz. That's right. Flare Blitz. Yeah, that's right. All right, I'm glad he took out the Wishy Washy, though. The only thing I'm scared of is his Turnators, though. This could be a lost cause, folks. This might be a lost cause. I don't know. It's gonna do super rod here. Get back two waters and a wishy washy. I should get back shaman. That's fine though. Uh, it was do 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 do. I guess we end him here. End him to two. I just gotta hope he doesn't get one of his choice bands. He's played one so far, so hopefully he doesn't hit choice band here. That could be bad if he does. I'm just gonna attach to Manaphy so we don't draw into that. We'll take him out blizzard burn here. We're gonna have to retreat Lapras to uh, bring out the other Lapras, but that's fine. And there's our Tapu Lele, okay. Now, moment of truth, does my opponent have the win this turn? If he does, rip me. I'm playing Peach Joe as well. Yeah, nice, Tommy, nice. Today gonna be lit? Oh, really, yeah. Pulled a Lele out of a locked pack yesterday, and I won one of the 24 ticket tourneys. Finally getting two Leles. Yo, congrats, Arsenal. Nice, dude. Um, was it, wait, Arsenal, was it a regular Lele, full art, or a rainbow rare Lele? But yeah, nice. Congrats, dude. Congrats on the Tapu Lele pull. N? Okay, at least it's not a Sycamore. Um, okay, can we hit our Rough Seas, though, so we can get the, the Lapras thing going? No, we don't. I think I'll just Ultra Ball for Lele, because I don't really need Articuno anymore. He gets the energy. No, what? How? No! You got an energy and a Toy Spain off of an end of two? What? 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 Huh? Okay, no, 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 no. Does not compute. Wait, what? Oh, hey, we're getting some dark... Wait, hold on, wait, 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 let, let my brain process this for a sec. So my opponent end me to two, and he got the two cards he needed to get to win the game. And I got half my daily evolution challenge done using a dark evo, even though... What the heck is going on? Am I, like, being haunted right now? Oh, my God. What just happened? Oh, my God. Fire beats water. That's what I'm saying, Benji. How did he get that lucky? Oh, my God. Dude, the luck is real on that. Oh, my God. Rip it. Yeah. Rip Arsenal. Dang. What the heck? How did that even happen? I am actually really shocked right now. Was our last rough seas prize? No, I don't. I, pfft, Dude, I don't even know what I, I don't even know what to say after that. I don't even know what to say after that. I kind of want to play Vikavolt Ninetales. Hmm. I kind of want to play my Vikavolt Ninetales deck. I'm going to try this out. I haven't tested this deck out yet. I'm going to exploit the PC Joe train system and trade a Basimian all the way up to... All the way up to a Lele. I mean, good luck with that. Good luck with that, Afro. I mean, I don't know if it'll work. Uh, we'll see. Top Deck Madness. I know, like, rip in the chat. Like, what was that? Uh, Lele start for good luck come back. Yeah, he threw. I mean, you called it, so hopefully we don't start with Lele. I, we have two in the deck, so it's always possible. Hopefully we can... St I mean, Lele's not even bad, because we do play DC within this deck. Plus, uh, Vika Volt could charge it up, too, so... Uh, maybe starting with Lele wouldn't be a bad idea. I don't mind that. I'd rather start with my Alolan Vulpix, though. But let's hope the Lele start doesn't happen, though. I am still, like, way too shocked after that game. Okay, well, not a bad hand. At least we can confirm we can get a supporter with Beacon, but not too good either. What? Like, how did that even happen? Warp Energy is weird. Yeah, I mean, that was a good card back in the day, I think. Back when Warp Energy was in Pokemon, that was a good card. Oh, no, another Donk deck? Are you kidding me? Oh, my goodness. Hmm, I think we'll be fine, though, because... Oh, never mind. Does he have the Psychic Energy to win the game? He does. Why? Why? Bro? I'm not even going to give you the win with the Knockout. Dude, I am... Oh my god, I'm getting so mad right now. 
The rage is real, dude. How unlucky can a man get? Have been collecting Guardians Rising packs. So far, I have 120. Also pulled a Secret Empoleon. Yo, nice, Richard. Uh, wait, my game freeze. My game froze. Okay, I gotta restart my game. Alright, give me a sec, guys. Um, screen should be black. Yeah, apologies. I, my game froze. Dude, why am I getting so unlucky? What? Like, oh my god. The, this is the most unluckiest PDC Joe's room I've ever had. What decks do you guys play? I play Tapu Coco. Um, personally, my favorite decks are just Nine Tails variants. Gotta open the game. That's so annoying though. I've been getting this is the most unluckiest stream I think I've ever had in my life. Whoops, I just opened up Photoshop. From Plasma Freeze. Yeah, the Plasma Freeze bundle's amazing. I'm actually glad they put that in. The only thing only good thing I pulled from my Plasma Freeze pack so far is a full art Ladias. Um the best thing I've ever pulled from Plasma Freeze is probably a secret guard chomp. That was a long time ago. That Ladias we both that Ladios we both know Trump card made you. It did. Trump card made Garbodor too. Play some coin based deck. I don't know, Kusan. I could play Quad Tox Apex. I kind of want to. I want to do a game with the uh, Vikable Nine Tails deck though. But I could play my Quad Tox Apex deck because I do want to test that out and maybe make a video on it. I play Sogaleo Metagross. Nice. Yeah. I like so. I mean, Sogaleo Metagross is interesting because it's really powerful when you get it set up, but it is a little slow and clunky. But it is still a pretty good deck, regardless. Probably maybe like state tier two point five maybe. Where's my phone at? But dang, dude, this stream, man. First, that kid got really lucky. Then, randomly, my daily Dark Evo challenge wasn't working. And then it works when we're playing a water deck. I, I don't even know how that happens. Like, how did that daily Evo challenge work for our dark deck? Because, for the water deck, we, we didn't even evolve that game. Oh my god, those are the weirdest glitches I've ever seen. Hey, what's up? Yo, card combo. How Welcome to the stream, dude. Um, How you doing, bro? I haven't seen you in a while, dude. How you doing, dude? How you doing? How you doing tonight? <laughs> the stream, the holy cow. Been using Drampa, Gar Metagross, and Rainbow Road and Expanded. Nice, nice, nice. Drampa, Gar Metagross, that's interesting though. It's an interesting combo. Unless you're playing like Drampa, Garb, and then also Metagross, but not like Drampa, Gar Metagross is like one big deck. Alright, well, I want to do a game with this Vigable Ninetales deck, and then I'm going to find a match with the uh, Quad Tox effects. Hopefully our luck doesn't get bad again, like holy cow. <laughs> the luck we had recently, jeez. I play Toxicroak and Zoark. Nice. Zoark Tramp is pretty good. Alright, let's go for the coin flip toad down. No, dude, it was toad down. Why? Alright, so I, I guess I should discuss what the uh, the, the kind of idea of this Vikable deck is. Basically, you wanna um, you wanna use Gigatron GX, and then you can use Nine Tails with sniping with Ice Blade afterwards. Um, this deck does play two wide lens. Also, oh, it's Sylveon. Oh, I don't mind Sylveon, though. We have Charge Beam and Brock Spirit in the deck. So, actually, I don't think Sylveon's a bad matchup. It's an annoying matchup, but not a bad matchup. I've been playing Alola Ninetales GX with Garb. It has a really good win ratio. Only lost one match so far with it. Oh, nice. No Ninetales with Garb's pretty cool. Like, I love Alola Ninetales. You can put it in really any deck. Haven't been playing TCGO much, but I keep up with it. Nice, yeah. Nice. Okay. At least he's mulliganing. I think I'll uh, hold on to this hand and not go for Sycamore then, because uh, depending on what we draw into. I mean, Sylveon isn't bad, because we can knock him out one hit with Super Zap Cannon, so it's really not a big deal. We have Charge Beam, like, I don't think we're going to run out of energy at any point. As long as we can keep Vika Bolt and playing stuff, we should be okay. Separate decks, lol. Yeah, I have a ton of decks. I have over, like, 400 decks on this game. Half of them, like, don't even, like, you can't even use anymore, but I need I need to, like, clean them out. I've been doing that, like, sparingly every day. Okay, uh, not really the hand I was looking for, but, uh, I can work with it. Um, hmm. And before Team Skull Run. Uh, I guess we'll just pass? I don't know. I guess. Next turn we can Vika Bolt him, which is good. Um, should be okay for a bit. He might end me, though, too. I think he's gonna end me. Probably, if not, a Magical Ribbon Friend. I was originally playing the deck... With just Metagross and Vulpix, but Greninja turned into such a terrible matchup that I just added the Sogaleo. Nice. I mean, yeah, Greninja is... Like, Metagross does struggle to beat Greninja sometimes because um, its first attack screws you over so bad. No, Staldex come back. I know, Benji. This is so bad. The Sylveon is real. And he got heads on Hammer, too. Of course he does. God, I hate crushing Hammer, dude. This, <laughs> Sylveon was made by the devil, I swear. 
Okay, we get another energy. That's kind of not good, though. Okay, at the very least, we can get a Vika Bolt down. Hmm. Do I hold on this hand and keep the escape rope around for one more turn? I think I do. Because then we can win next turn. I'm going to go for it. Hmm. I'm going to go for it. Uh, ooh, I forgot we have Espeon in the deck. I don't think we'll need it right now, though. I think I'll just grab Ninetales and Vika Bolt. Uh, do we have the Floatstones in the deck? We do. We have Choice Band. Uh, two DCEs. Okay. Hopefully next turn we can win the game. That's the goal. Yeah, Garbability Lock is almost an instant loss for Metagross, which is why I made the Drampa Garb. Getting the fourth Lele was a pain, though. Yeah, Lele is pretty bad, and it's only going to go up in price, too, when, um, especially when Roaring Skies rotates out. Okay, he gets two Sylveon, and I'm fine with that, though. As long as we can keep using Charge Beam, we should be okay. We can just run him out of energy that way. Plus, Brock's Grid is in the deck, so I think the win is easy, as long as we don't play stupid. I think we don't bench anything else after this. Delinquent. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'm gonna get rid of three cards I didn't really need anyways. Cool. Alright, Magical Ribbon. Kinda wish I had an end here, but it's fine. As long as we can knock out this thing next turn, I'm okay. Isn't everything a pain? Yeah. <laughs> Layla's gonna be so hard to get. I don't... I, I'm curious to know what its value will cap at down the road. Because right now, Tapu Lele goes for around 20 packs. The Full Art goes for like 23 or something, and then the Rainbow Rare might be like 27. Oh, wow, we just topped it the Float Stone. Okay. No, I should have put that on Vika Bolt. Yeah, whatever, that's fine. Doesn't really matter. I'm going to go straight for Sycamore here. Can we find the Choice Band in DCE to win the game? Or not win the game, not come out, we don't. Rip. I'm going to put Baby Coco down. And I'm actually kind of tempted to do Flying Flip here. And then, mm, Flying Flip, let him knock me out with Fairy Wind, and then teammates. Sure. That's the plan. In before it fails. We have Brock's Grid in our hand, too, which is really nice. Since, yeah, we're out of Lightnings now, so we're going to have to do Brock's Grid soon. I guess this plan will work. We can get 20 damage on him, so now we don't even need to find our Choice Band. It helps us out a little bit more. You can put 20 damage on both these things. Set them up maybe for an Electro Cannon knockout 2 with a Choice Band. So maybe that'll be good enough. Team Flare Grunt. Okay, that's fine. Crushing Hammer. Tails. Yes. Okay, good. Get that garbage out of here. DC. Alright, so he's going to knock me out. And then we can teammates. Hmm. I don't know, actually, if we even have the knockout. Hold on. Wide lens. If we actually got an energy, I think we would have had the game. Or not the game. Why do I keep saying the game? The knockout. The knockout. Because we're out of lightning. You can only grab a grass. No, we're okay. Never mind. We're okay. We're okay. Uh, what to grab, though? Now we'll get choice band out, I guess. I don't know. Actually, we'll grab floatstone just in case. We'll get the DCE out of the deck too, right? Yeah. Okay. This is fine. We we are going to be able to knock him out here. But next turn, we are going to have to do Brock Script. But once we do that, we're basically in the clear to win the game. So we'll bring out the Vika Volt. And uh, yeah, we just take him out here with Gigatron. Sure. I was going to put Wide Lens down, but just in case he max potions, just so he doesn't get knocked out, I'm going to do that anyways. We'll take him out with this. And then we just do Brock Script next turn. And if we can get an energy, we should be fine. Hey, there we go. Got an energy. So we should be okay next turn to win the game. Uh, didn't get Choice Band or DC. Feels bad, man. Eh, it's all good. It's all good, Arsenal. Um, yo, Aaron's Pokemon. Hi. Welcome to stream. Sorry, I missed your thing. Uh, do you do viewer matches? Uh, Afro Trash. Um, I do, but I'm just not going to do them this stream. I don't know when I'm going to do them. I need to uh, sort them out. Thank God I got two lays. Yeah, I guess Pain Depends on Relevance all along. I will go that Hyper Rare will go to about max 35 after rotation, regular at around 20, and full at about 24, 25. Yeah, maybe. I don't think Layla will ever go to like 50 packs or anything, but we'll see. Um, hmm. Actually, we don't actually have the win right now. Oh, no, we do. Never mind. We're good. The fact that he just lies to me, we got the win. Dude, you got code? Yeah, I do, Hawk Freeze. Welcome to the stream, by the way, dude. Plea uh, versus Volt Vega Volts. I'm glad he didn't do that, Ethereal. He looks like he's just magical ribbing. A plea would be really bad, but I guess he just didn't go for it. I'm glad he didn't do a plea. That would have probably... Wow, well, he didn't have the DC. Never mind. 
Alright, well, it looks like we got the game, though. We can just do Brock's Grid here. And, uh, get back all of this energy. And get back Baby Coco. And, yeah, we can just slap Floatstone on. We retreat into Vika Volt. And we go with Strong Charge. Vika Volt for the win. I love Vika Volt, man. This card is so fun. Vika Volt is such an awesome Pokemon, too. I just wish there was more PNG images, but it's all good. Super Zap Cannon for the win. Bye bye. See you later. Sylveon, get out of my face. Get that Sylveon out of here. Alright, good. Sweet win. Uh, we didn't use the Nine Tails as much as I wanted to, but that was a pretty fun win, I'd say. It was a pretty good game. And we got our prize box. 444 coins would be great, please. Is Crushing Hammer even worth playing anymore with Garb riding around? Probably not, Arsenal. Unless you're playing Houndoom Mill. Might start to see four Lelys in Dex after rotation. You probably will, Aaron. Um, Puzzle of Time is also... Ooh, we got a, f a Phantom Force is back. I've seen people getting uh, Next Destinies 2 from the ladder. But I'll take a Phantom Forces, I guess. I mean, it's not the worst set in the world. Could have been worse. Could have been, like, something completely useless, like, I don't know, Evolutions. So I guess we'll open up that Phantom Forces pack. And uh, we'll see what we pull. A Full Art Mega Manetric. Or no, Full Art Manetric would be nice. I guess maybe a Full Art Gengar wouldn't be bad either. Let's see. I mean, maybe a Locked uh, Dimension Valley. Let's find out. No, nothing really good. <laughs> wow, what a useless pack. <laughs> Got, like, nothing out of there. Nothing. For Stall Decks, they will play anything, Gamer. Yeah. I I do think Stall Decks could use Crush Namer, but, like, in any deck, I don't think Crush Namer is worth anymore. Three to four, I think, will be meta. Yeah, for sure, Rayron, for sure. I got a next Destinies. Yeah, I don't know what the heck's going on, Afro. I, I've, I've, that's my second pack I've got of Phantom Forces from the ladder, so I don't know. Maybe I'm just not getting lucky. Who knows? Who knows? Okay, I need to do another Dark Daily Evo, but I can't use it with that. Um, what to play? Ooh, let's play Mega Tyranitar, because I can't get my Dark Daily Evo done with this. So might as well play some Mega Titar. Yeah, I don't know. I, I would have loved the next Destiny's pack. It would have been so sweet to pull a, a second fuller Mewtwo. That would be nice. Alright, I'm going to go Tails this time because it was Heads last time. Hey, okay, Todal, I feel you today. Alright, I think we're playing against Garb, though, which I think is an okay matchup, as long as you play it smart. Hey, okay, this is a really good hand. I think I'm just going to do the Ultra Ball first, just so I can uh, get some energy in the discard, I guess. I don't know. But this is a good matchup, I think. Garb should be okay because... I mean, as long as Drampa doesn't righteous edge you and it screws you over, you should be okay against Garb. So, yeah. Plus, he got that resistance to Psychic. 240 HP also helps you out, too. Which is pretty cool. Okay. Oh, maybe it's not Garb. It might be Espeon. Espeon probably the worst case scenario. Because I don't really know how to deal with that. It could have been... It also could have been Emerging Powers. Unless Useless Set, that's only... Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Emerging Powers is pretty bad, too. I'm glad it's not Emerging Powers. Can you play Xerneas Giratina eventually? Maybe Hawk Freeze. I don't think I've updated my Xerneas Giratina deck in a while, though, so I don't know. Um, okay, well, just ask her. We'll do that. We'll just end him. Yeah, I don't know about Xerneas Giratina. Might not be good anymore. Like, um, I know Omnipoke, uh, Joe from Omnipoke played the, uh, Xerneas, played the, uh, Xerneas, uh, break deck. Without Giratina, he just, I don't think he used many colorless attackers. He literally, I think, just had the Oranguru, the Reggie Rock in there. When everyone can I pull trash. Oh, yeah. Next Destinies doesn't have the worst cards. You have, like, Gardevoir Mewtwo, which isn't terrible. But other than that, it's like the set isn't that great. When everyone complained for no reprint for Muscle Band, but they gave us Choice Band instead, everyone was happy. Exactly. Choice Band is an awesome card. The only problem with it, it only works on GXs and EXs. I kind of wish there was a way we could do more damage to a non-EX Pokemon. Not like Fanny Fury Belt, though. Not like Fanny Fury Belt. Ooh, he's going to end me. Be my guest. Uh, maybe I should have put the Spearling down. That's fine, though. As long as we play this matchup smart, we should be okay. What's going to be put in place if VS Seeker wants to rotate Puzzle Gamer? Yeah, probably Puzzle. Um, I was thinking Hurtier for a sec, but Hurtier doesn't work with that. Okay, Float, we goes into Drampa. Hmm, maybe I just set up and let him knock out my Coco. I think we do that. I don't... Uh, no, we need to find Flip. But that just sets up Berserk. Oh, well, yeah, I guess we just do this, then. Hmm. We'll go Versus Seeker for N. Actually, no, okay. I'm going to Lysander the Trubbish out and pass. 
I regret doing that, because now it's Garbodor going to do 20 damage, but I'll do that. Many say Puzzle of Time. Yeah, Puzzle of Time, for sure. Um, the only problem with Puzzle of Time, it's a little worse than Verse Seeker, because then you have to have two in your hand. But it gets you two supporters back to the price of one, instead of Verse Seeker. I can see it happening, yeah. I definitely think Puzzle of Time will replace Verse Seeker a bit, because um, we'll see if it does or not, though. Um, I do want to make some kind of videos on, like, post-rotation decks around the time when rotation happens. Like, I have some ideas in mind with, like, Decidueye. Um, because Decidueye will get hit really hard, I think, but it's not going to be completely dead because you still have Force Giant Plants. Or Rare Candy, sorry. You see, okay, got the Garb in play. So rip that Tapu Lele, that's fine. He's going for Sycamore. If he gets a Float Stone, he Drampas me. Now, he won't knock me out with Drampa, but it'll be bad. And then I think at that point we can afford to do Flying Flip. Okay, he whiffed. Alright, I think we do flying flip now then. Hey, baby Veltal. Good to see you. Alright, let's end him here. I would put the Magmus base down, but there's no point, I think. Uh, let's see. Okay. I think I have to do flying flip here. Uh, yeah, I kind of have to, don't I? I really want to just mega evolve there, but that's fine. I wish we had the spirit link. But we'll just hit both all these Pokemon for 20 and hope he doesn't retreat. It's going to be a long time before we see Celestella GX. Maybe. Maybe. I think the next set after Burning Shadows is going to be like a big set, I think. I don't know. I might trade a few cards for my puzzles before it goes viral. We'll see. Um, if they reprint Puzzle of Time, make it a, a full art shiny card. That'd be pretty cool. And, ooh. Okay, if we get Mega T-Tar, T-Tar Spirit Link, and another DCE, I'll be happy. If not, I'll settle for just Oblivion Wing for now. But let's see what we find here. Oh, we got it. Holy cow. Okay, sweet. I think we're going to have to get rid of a few tool items. Actually, yeah, we'll be okay. It's actually good, though. <laughs> it's actually perfect. I'm kind of scared of Righteous Edge, though. It's the only thing I'm scared of here. Switch. That's even better. Alright, we're going to have to get rid of Hex and Lele, since we technically won't need those anymore. Uh, we grab Mega Tyranitar here. So, okay. So we've played two items so far. So we will do this, do this. He's probably going to Psychic Energy and then Righteous Edge me. And I guess we'll do this and try and get a Dark on that baby Veltal. No, if that hit, that would have been so good because then we could have just went with Oblivion Wing. Dang it, bro. Okay, so I am predicting he's going to get rid of my DCE here. So we'll hit him for a big old Destroyer King for 230 damage. Take deep prizes here. Can we find an, a good way to get out of this? A dark Energy? Okay, that works, that works. As long as we can go into Oblivion Wing. Oh, this deck uses Tapu Koko spread, then use Mega Tyranitar to uh, destroy King Fire damage. Yep, basically Benji. Um, the only problem is Tyranitar is a little bit slow because it needs four energies. Shiny Legends, and then we get the UB set. Oh, okay. Yeah, Shiny Legends. Forgot about that. I remember you played this before. Yeah, I played it a few times on stream. I want to make a video on it, too, but I'm covering national decks for now. Probably next week I'll maybe do a video on it. Coco GX is looking good with all the new lightning support coming up in the next two sets. Oh, yeah. Coco is already really powerful with, like, the max potion support, but it's crazy. Um, choice band. Okay, please do not... Okay, he's actually bringing out Garbodor for some reason. He's just tickling me, so I'm fine with that. And he concedes. Get out of your Garb. Go play a deck that takes skill, Kappa Ross. Wow, okay. Tyranitar just destroyed a Garb deck. Feels good, man. Uh, we almost got the daily challenge done. Well, that was a pretty good game, though. Still waiting for a Lolan Raichu GX. Yeah, we got the Raichu GX, but no Lolan Raichu GX. Raichu GX is going to be a really good card, though. I mean, it just sucks you're making all these cool new Stage 1 GX Pokemon, like Zoark, Golisopod, and Raichu, and it's like they're rotating the evolutions out. It kind of sucks. It's kind of a buzzkill. Um, what to play? I think I'm going to play my Umbreon Zoark deck one more time, just so I can get this daily Evo done. Um, and then I think maybe I'll wrap up the stream there. I've been streaming for about an hour and a half. Maybe I'll do another match. We'll see. I'm having some fun right now, though. Oh, uh, another Drampa Garb deck. Right, whatever. It's fine. I think we can do okay. The Umbreon Zoark is good against Drampa Garb. That's fine. All right, so I'm going to go heads here. Toadal, I'm counting on you. I'm glad I counted on you, Toadal. Okay, so if it's Drampa Garb, we got to be careful because it gets rid of our DCEs. Plus, then our Magma's base is a little useless. Yeah, but the new Raichu GX is looking good. Salt, yeah. <laughs> I feel bad, but I don't feel bad. Let's be just playing Grandpa Garp. Raichu, Dragonair, Coco, Carbink. Yeah, that's that's a pretty good combo. Carbink, baby Carbink's really good. Depends on how popular Crushing Hammer gets. 
I'm looking forward to the Alolan Muk GX deck. Yeah, another Stage 1 deck that is really good. Alolan Muk Salazzle is going to be a really good deck. Uh, Alolan Muk is also a really cool looking Pokemon. This is what happens when the opponent never checks your discard pile. Hey, exactly, Richard. You could have put me in a really tough spot with that Drampa. Do you think I should buy 20, 200 Guardians Rising Codes? Oh, I, I'd say go for it, Afro. Depends on how much um, you're willing to spend on the on the codes. But yeah, Guardians Rising is the most stable set right now. It'll probably, maybe, I don't think it'll rise. It, because Lele is in the set. We'll see if Guardians Rising rises or not. But I would say go for it. I would say go for it, Afro. I have um, 104 Guardians Rising packs right now. And I'm not going to spend any of them until like they go up or something. I don't know. I'm going to keep them around. Probably for the next set. But then again, most Garb opponents I play against never do. Yeah. The best way to beat Garb is just be careful you play your items. Even though it is still a really annoying deck to play against. Hey, look at that. Another Garb deck. Why am I not surprised? Alright. We're discarding two items here, which is not nice. But uh, it's fine, I guess. Hopefully we can hit a Zorua here. Okay, we do. Good. We got Floatstone, which is also what I wanted. Because as long as we can do um, Stand In, we don't have to worry about Espeon. Even though Divide GX long does not work. They need to stop giving evolution packs for attorney rewards. I know. <laughs> evolution is such a... It's, there are like a few decent cards in there, like Brock's Grid and Dragonite. But other than that, it's like the set has no value. I mean, I think chests are worth more than an evolutions pack. Also, they are more worried about my garb that they missed my winning condition with Ninetales. Yeah. I don't know, like, Garb is just, it's not a card that, like, is, like, really hard to beat or anything. It's just, it's one of those cards that I don't think needs to be in the format. <laughs> I'm just saying, ban the card, Pokemon. You know? I think I'm just gonna do Flying Flip here. Or, nah, we can, nah, let's go Shadow Bullet. Depends if he's playing Espeon. He might not play Espeon. He might just be playing Drampa Garb. He might just have Eevee in there for Flareon or Vaporeon. Best case scenario, that is the case. He's got a Garb, okay. So he's only doing 60 damage to me so far. Okay, passes. Alright, I think we'll take him out Shadow Bullet here. I could take out a Trubbish, but... I think I'd rather just take out this Eevee. And we can hit a Trubbish for 30. That sets up Drampa, but this way we can knock out the uh, the uh, Garbodor easier. Okay, another DC. Perfect. So we're gonna need that. Ooh, he's bringing out Lele. I guess he had a Floatstone. Evolution set is just trash. Yeah, Evolution's... I mean, there's like one card in there that's decent. That's Fuller Dragonite. As I said before, uh, should have become a subset. Exactly. Exactly. It doesn't that? It's the only cool thing about... Oh, he does play Espeon. Okay, good. Uh, good thing I got rid of that Eevee then. Yeah, Evolutions just sucks. It's going to bring a Drampa then. Hmm. Okay, please put some more Pokemon down on your bench so I can Zorak you. Please? Pretty please? Nope, just a Righteous Edge. More energy, are you serious? I don't need these. Hmm. Kind of tempted to Lysander Garb out here. But he just gets stuck. I think we just Shadow Bullet him. I guess. I'll spread the damage out. I hate Trampa Garb with a passion. Wish my grandma didn't buy me that booster box of evolutions. That sucks, man. That's the worst set you could have gotten, man. And Berserk. Drampa Garb can go die in a hole. Maybe I should have went for Zoark, but we lost our break in our rest stretcher. Never mind then. <sighs> oh my god. <clears throat> I'm tempted just to go Confusion here. I think we do that. I could maybe strafe into Coco and let him take out Coco. But I think it's better just to try and... I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I honestly don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, we got punished pretty hard for that. Alright, I guess we sacrifice Coco then. I'm gonna put Tapu Lele down just so I can get rid of this Bridget. But also so I can maybe knock him out with a DC next turn. It's the only thing that can actually knock him out. I hate Drapa Garb so much. Well, at least she's getting me Burning Shadows. That's good. I don't know how much value Burning Shadows is gonna have in the long run. I guess we'll find out. Ouch, Benji feels bad, man, yeah. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. And Berserk, okay. Drampa Garb can go die in a hole, and if you play it, you suck at Pokemon. I'm just kidding. You don't suck at Pokemon, but... Jesus, I hate this deck so much. 
Sorry about the salt, but I just can't stand Grandpa Garb. All right. Give me DCE. We whiffed. All right. That's my cutest skidoo. I hate Trampa Garb so fucking much. Oh my god, I hate Trampa Garb with a passion, dude. That deck literally makes me not want to play Pokemon. Uh, we'll do another game, though. That game was way too short. Uh, good luck with the pulls. Yeah, good luck with the pulls, Benji. Also got Starmie Break. I mean, Starmie Break's interesting. I don't think it'll ever see play because Greninja Break is the only uh, Break Pokemon that's really played other than Talonflame. But yeah, it's like other than that, it's like not very good. Uh, what to play, though? I don't know what to play. Hmm. Let's see. What could we play? I'm going to go up to my star decks here, my favorite decks. I kind of want to play Sylveon Decidueye Plume again. Yeah, let's play it. Feeling the urge. It's all about that Gardevoir GX. That Pokey is too good. Yeah, Gardevoir GX is one of my favorite GXs to come out of that set, too. Um, I don't know how good it'll be. Uh, Fortune Plants will be one of the cards that will be banned. Maybe, yeah, probably an Expanded, though, Richard. I can definitely see it again in Abandoned Expanded. Which Witch is useless unless you're against Breaks? Yeah. Uh, play Pissimi Mew to, <laughs> to wreck Dramp Trash. Yeah, I'll probably play that deck just as a ladder grinding deck tonight. If I, like, play PDCG, I'll probably just ladder grind the deck with that deck. But yeah, Gardevoir GX is really good. The, really, lately? The worst starter I could have gotten. Rip the dream. Rip the dream. Alright, let's see what happens here. Okay, it's another Decidueye deck, so I'm glad it's not Garbodor. Uh, I think I just get rid of... Uh, I guess we're going to have to get rid of Vile, like Sylveon and uh, thing. I don't want to get rid of Flareon, though. Uh, we're at the Cairn for them back. Rip. Unless I keep this hand for another turn. Nah, we'll go Sycamore. I, I'll have to do Cairn at some point to get that Flareon back. Don't forget about Zorak Break. It's the most played. Yeah, Zorak Break, too. Okay, we got a Fairy Energy. No... Down, no decidueyes. I don't know what happened there, but we can get our Sylveon down. Yeah, ramp up. I get that Karen then. That sucks. We lost like three important cards off that Sycamore. This is a very unlucky, very unlucky live stream today. Should I trade my decidueye GX while its price is still a little high? I think I'm gonna get a price drop post rotation. Yeah. Um. I mean, there's three different decidueyes right now. You got the Rainbow Rare one that's in Guardians Rising. You have the you have the uh promo box one. And then you have the one from Sun and Moon. I don't know. I mean, I got one of the Fuller Decidueyes, which took me a bit to get. I don't know. I've seen it played on other channels. Gardevoir GX will be the next big deck. Probably. It is. A, I mean, you also have Fairy Drop, too, which could work. Plus, its GX attack is really good against, um, thing. Okay, it's a... Okay, it's... Dark, it's a, uh, I don't know what I'm saying. It's a Lola Ninetales Decidueye. Yeah, Gardevoir's GX attack is just perfect against Garbodor, though. It's not a perfect solution, but it's a good start. But you know what's a better start to get rid of the Garbodor problem? Ban it! Just saying. Kaparas. Okay, he retreats into Vulpix. Hmm. I guess we end him to three. He did, he did the supporter, right? Yeah, he's Sycamore. Okay, I guess we'll end him to three. Anti-break deck. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got Zorak Break, too. Um, hmm. But you're only doing 100 damage to Zorak Break, and... It's really easy for Zorak Break to knock out Starmie in her turn, so it's kind of iffy. Alright, and can we please get some good luck here, though? Come on, game, don't do this to me. Hmm. I don't know if we have Shaman or not. And I'm too lazy to check an Ultra Ball for it, so... I think I'm just going to go Magical Ribbon here. And I think I'll just grab Dartrix. Rainbow Energy. Actually, no, I'll just grab DC. And I'm going to get Karen. I'm going to go Karen next turn so I can get back uh, Flareon. Flareon's the only way we can one-shot Decidueye. The only problem with Sylveon, though, it's a little awkward when you're playing against Alola Ninetales because it can take a hit. One card I've been looking at is Mega Steelix because it at Mega Steelix... Oh, I get rid of the Choice Band. That's bad. Mega Steelix um, hits um, Alola Ninetales for weakness and Drampa for weakness, which is kind of hilarious. Float, okay. Hopefully that end didn't give me... Oh, I know he ends me. Dang it, dude. That hand was so good. Okay. Can we get an even better hand? I hoped we can get our Karen backs. Yes, okay. Ooh. Okay, that basically is the same hand. A little better, though, too, with Olympia. 
Oh no, double decidui. Uh, that's pretty scary. That's pretty scary. Don't whiff. Oh, I think I did. Ugh. He's hit my Rowlet though. Interesting. He might regret that though. He should be hitting my Eevee because once I put Flareon down. Hmm. Maybe I, I might just take out Karen and put Rescue Stretcher in. Because I don't know how popular Vesquin is anymore. Because Rest Stretcher would be perfect right now. Because then I'd be able to just Rest Stretcher back for Flareon. Okay. Floatstone, no thanks. But at the very least, he end us into Decidueye. Oh, we can't. Four. How is Force not in play? I'm just going to concede. <laughs> Screw that. I uh, that I don't even know if we can win that game at that point. Uh, I'll do another game, though, I guess. I'm not really in any rush right now. But we can do at least one more quick game. I'm going to play, uh, do, 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 do. let's play, um, wait, is my anti-garb deck still here? Rip garb? Okay, I'll play, um, I'll play Passimian. I'll play Passimian, if I can find it. I, I can't remember what the deck was called. Dang it. I can't remember what it was called. Uh, do, do, do. actually, you know what, guys? I'm going to play my fossil deck. Fossils are back. I just, I kind of feel like playing Fossils are back. Let's play Fossils are back. No, you reached your friend limit. Oh, actually, Afro, um, after this game I do here, I'll unfriend somebody. Sylveon again. Oh, my God. What's with the Sylveon? Uh, this is a really bad stream. <laughs> Bunch of guard matches and Sylveon, too. <sighs> I give up with this game sometimes. It might be Despair Red Gardevoir. But, yeah, after this game, Afro, I will unfriend, uh, I'll unfriend a few people that I don't really see online anymore. And then I'll add you. I'll let you add me after that. Hopefully it works. Yeah, the only problem is there's a friend limit. I think before there wasn't one, but now there is, so it's really, it's rip. Ah, uh, it's rip. But yeah, don't worry, Afro. After this game, I'll unfriend a few people and then then try and add me. I feel bad for people who don't have Lele. If you don't have Shame in there, still was Octillery or Ranguru as a minor solution, but there's no replacement for Lele. Yeah, exactly, Arsenal. It does suck. I... I'm surprised that we're not seeing a tin promo for Lele. Like, we saw a tin promo for Tapu Koko, but not for Lele. Maybe we'll do one in the future. Hopefully they do, because, yeah, Lele is, like, speaking of Lele, look what we start with. Um, but, yeah, Lele is, like, one of those, like, tin promos that should happen. Just because they're really, they're really hard to get. Cause they're expensive. But, yeah, like, Octillery is, like, an okay-ish replacement, but it's not, it's not a permanent solution. Unless, like, it is Sylveon. Oh, I don't even want to bother playing against this garbage. Come on. Yeah, go build a deck that takes skill, please. <sighs> you know what? I think I'll just end off the stream. I'm not feeling it today. We got really unlucky this live stream, especially against that Turnator deck. The wishy-washy game, too. Like, I don't even know. I think we'll just end off the stream. I'm just too salty right now to continue streaming. So I'm sorry, guys. But, uh... I think I'll wrap the day stream. I'll try and stream another day this week. Maybe I'll do a viewer battle stream too. I need to do another one because a lot of you guys have been asking for one. Um, but yeah, I think I'll just end up the stream. I'm just not feeling it today. I just I can't be bothered to play against garbage like Sylveon and Garbador. So yeah, I think we'll end up the stream here. I just okay, but, but I'll unfriend someone for you, Afro here. I just don't know who to unfriend. I can't tell like like there's all these people I still see online. I still talk to, but I don't know. Okay, apologies if I am unfriending you, and uh, you're watching the stream, or you end up watching this afterwards, or you're just like, where, where is Old Deck Fury? Why, why isn't he on my friends list anymore? Well, there you go, there's your answer. Um, okay, so I ended, I unfriended two people, so hopefully you can add me now. Um, uh, man, they're trying to drain, drain our money. That's why Lily has no tin. Yeah, exactly, they're trying to drain our money. Yeah, trying to cash in, probably. But hopefully you get one soon. But I think I'll end up the stream here, guys. Thanks for watching the live stream, guys. Grind the ladder a little bit. Um, yeah, tomorrow I will have another Nationals deck video, and I'm going to be working on another Nationals deck video very, very soon. I'm probably going to have four Nationals deck videos. Um, 